du som naked yoga or destiny at the gym on my youtube channel well no not, not even we live. Not even. hemisphere norway zen you trying to fuck with me okay a bunch of fucking no. stupid fucking twitch streamers and a goddamn fucking football thrower is gonna tell me shit fuck I both of you guys i feel do you know what i feel about trump i feel like People take his twittering more serious than what he actually does. No, I, I disagree. That's like the thing that people like- He might be like, Dan, you're fucking wrong, don't you're talking- So train if you're watching this, uh, I don't know what I, I'm talking about. But my guess is that he doesn't get that 15 million dollars. Bamna? Obamna? Why are they saying that? The most cringe shit in the fucking <laughs> world is that fucking saying. And the people who do it are the- I'm using four slot. I only have 16 gigs of RAM on this fucking PC. I need 32. Wait, really? On my streaming one. Yeah, I actually run out of RAM because if I have to. Wait, I have, open, is it DDR4? Lags. It must be, right? I have I have 32 gigs of DDR4 right here that you can have. Oh my god, really? Two sticks. Destiny, you did DDR5 now if you have the oh my new god. CPU as well. The <laughs> third, CPU the is 12,900 12, yeah, uh, no. KS. You need DDR5. I, I'm not using that on my streaming PC. <laughs> I have a 70 and an 80 XE. This is probably pretty old at this point. Probably like 2016 or 2017. When did this chip come out? So, uh, oh God, this is streaming PC. PC. It's old, but this is a beast. This is like, it's got like fucking 18 cores. Like, okay, I fuck you. No, this, this fucking, oh God. I don't even wanna, I don't Wait, even you have 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM. Yeah, two sticks. And it's not only, is it 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM? It is CL16, 3600 megahertz. Sheesh! If you're, if you're Wait, getting hold on, CL16 sucks. There, it's Why would you brag about that? For AMD. Oh, hold on a second, Canoe. I yeah. gotta lay down some some logic to my boomer. Yeah. It does not suck, okay? Wait, it is <laughs> quite good. I, it's okay, RAM, but I'm saying you wouldn't brag about CL16. You, you brag about CL16 when it's at 3600 megahertz. Sir. He is correct. That's, that's oh, more than good enough. Knut, tell me he's a fucking short. Hold on, piece of I thought shit. when you wanted to like fucking, when you wanted to jerk off over RAM, you're looking at like CL like eleven or twelve. Yeah. That's like that's like high speed. Like, okay, first cast off, latency. they don't CL sixteen thirty two hundred is like that's like normal like decent RAM. I don't think that's for, like a for sixteen gigabyte sticks. Good luck finding it, that. Well, right. then who cares? Yeah, you have like fucking quad channel. Just get four sticks. What? what? Oh. But uh, you're, you're using it for your streaming computer? What, what, it doesn't what matter. Honestly, there? God, at the end of the day, RAM it's... speed is irrelevant, but I just fucked down. Okay. Wait, also, you're... that doesn't exist. What well, doesn't exist? Wh what you just said. What, CL11? Castling C11 or 12? No, I think like the lowest it goes is like, I don't know, 15, 14? Okay, listen. Back when I bought RAM for people's computers, uh, we, were, we, were using, we were using DDR3, okay? Maybe DDR4 is different. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Maybe DDR4 has different cast latencies, but for DDR3 shit, when we would shop for that RAM, the really low shit, I think you could go as low as nine. I'm pretty sure. Somebody correct me wrong, or maybe I'm booming hard and that wasn't true. Um, because if somebody was selling you like, oh my God, this RAM is so fast, it's like 3200 megahertz, and then it's like cast latency like 16, you're like, okay, what? Who the fuck cares? But maybe DDR3 is different, okay. Anyway, what's up? Oh, okay, wait, do you wanna go out to eat soon? I need to steal that RAM from you. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, Sunday, do you want to do it um, mañana? Uh, uh -huh. You got to come to the beach, though. That's Queen's rules. I don't normally eat breakfast, Dan. Fuck! I'm losing so much weight right now. Hold on, I have to think. Where would we go to eat? Uh -huh. Where do you want to eat? I'm flexible. Where I can just go and order like a hunk of chicken and some rice. <laughs> what time does Big Pink open? <laughs> Well, where, I, where is this? I'm, it's I on just South said, Beach, okay? You're fine. Uh, I don't want to go all the way down there. You can't even go uh, south on the island you live on? It's like a fucking 10 minute drive, if that. Are you serious? Uh, big pink. There's apparently, wait, you want fried chicken? It's apparently, there's a place that's really good for fried chicken. People, it's really good, but people sometimes get shot there. <laughs> and what, at it's 8 a.m. if we go for breakfast? <laughs> the Lickening or something like that? Okay. So this is the place I'm, uh, I should move to as well, uh, Dan. Florida, where people get shot in the morning. Well, Canute, they're not going to fucking shoot at you, obviously, because you're fucking, like, Chad Thundercock or whatever. 
<laughs> what does that even so mean, so Dan? You're like, go to shoot. Well, like, oh, he's got so many clean. muscles. I can't shoot that yeah, guy. They're just gonna exactly, <laughs> exactly. You feel like if you miss or if he doesn't die, you're fucked. You don't want to shoot at that type of people because then he's gonna it's come a bigger after target you. to hit because of all of his muscles. Yeah, uh, the big hit box. That's the problem. Yeah, but like, if you don't kill him, you're fucked. <laughs> Why does this restaurant's page have linked to DJ Khaled? And, and the thing is, Excellent. usually when they oh, hear man. this stupid fucking Norwegian accent, they don't shoot either. True. Um, this so, actually looks so good, Dan. Obama. DJ Khaled lives next to me. I don't know if you know that or not. Nice way to dox your family. You don't care about the lives of your children, Dan. Well, it's a decent sized area, you know, but yeah. And also the problem is DJ Khaled, people keep trying to rob him all the time. Uh -huh. So he has like armed guards all over his shit right now. Based. Okay, hold on. My next few days I've got so much shit going on. Okay. Wait, you know where, if you want, actually, the place we should go is, um, uh, fuck. Hold on. It's, um, one second. We should go to Yardbird. That's where we should go. We've been there many, many moons ago, Steve. Wait, what's wrong with this other place? You got me looking at pictures, and this place looks fucking awesome now. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to die. Yardbird. We're not going to get shot in Miami at fucking eleven thirty a.m., Dan. That's when the big guns come out. Dan, look at Yard. Look at Yardbird. No, before you I want to go to the other place now because the other place you got me looking at pictures of it. It looks good. Okay, hold on. Wait, Yardbird looks really good too. One second. Uh, this looks really fancy. I just want good food, Dan. It's not really fancy. They're the same. In Bro, fact, I'm looking at pictures of them fancier. setting like fucking alcohol on fire and then eating a French fry over the like a marshmallow on it. The other one is fancier. Like... The licking is fancier than this one, bro. Well, at least it's more expensive. How is this not fancy? With accolades from James Beard and Bon Appetit. It's got French right in the first sentence. We're fucked, Dan. Dan is an old white lady. Pearls clutched and all. I will clutch your pearls, motherfucker. Do they have dress codes here, or am I going to show up in a sweatpants? <laughs> the Felix remix, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, as long as they have chicken, I'll do it. Fuck it. Okay, let me see how long I have to drive for this. Dan, I've been going to bed real late, so we'll see what's going on. If I skip breakfast tomorrow and I don't drink a soylent, I think I can budget this into my calories. Wait, what time are we doing this? <laughs> well, well that's how many calories do you eat today? Around like 2,000, okay? I'm recomping and losing weight. I got way too fat when I started, okay, Knut? Um, yeah. How is your macros? I don't know what you mean by macros, but my macro, my protein is good, okay? And macros, carbs, fat, and yeah, protein? Yeah, we don't give a fuck about That's... that. We just eat enough protein, okay? You need to think about the others as well. Oh, really? Well, what about people on well, keto? You think they can't lift, Knut? You think they can't get big? Yes. Or not optimal, at least. It's hor keto is horrible for lifting. That's for uh, lazy people that want to lose weight when they're uh, on the couch. Okay. Realistically, I probably do okay on my macros because the meals that I eat tend to be fairly balanced around them. But yeah, my, they're, 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 I imagine they're pretty what balanced. What time are we supposed to be eating? Ideally, I'd say um, 9.30, Dan, uh, but I'm not going to wake up that early. So let's say 11.30. Well, this is like fucking morning. Okay, then let's just do like someone actually link. Okay. You're picking a third restaurant? All right, chill. You are stressed. Okay, me wait. Out. I didn't, I Whatever you pick is going to be the there. final choice. So pick one, and it's going to be the last one. Okay. So I this feel is, like I have to is... come with some information here that is more important than where you're eating. Dan, just decide where he's going to eat. I have to give him some important numbers. Destiny. Yeah. What's up? You have thirty, fifty, twenty. That's the percentage. Uh, hold on. Let me guess. You're thirty percent for... protein, fifty percent carbs, ten percent fat, or something. Twenty percent fat. 20%. Yes. Okay. Correct. Correct. Um, my carb, it's, I drink a soylent every day, so that's got some shit on it. I eat, like, a meal from Trifecta that has, like, an okay number of, like, carbs, a lot of protein, and a little bit of fat. And I eat oats in the morning, so I don't know where my fat's coming from. What foods have fat in them? Eggs, oil, uh, that's mostly what I use, at least. Some fish, salmon. Ugh, gross. <sighs> you have almond butter is good. You could use peanut butter, you could use other nut. Hopefully my- I don't know if Hillshire's in here, you can check- the Paleo Trifecta meals, hopefully they've got some fat in it. I bet the Soylent has some fat in it too. Oh, I think the Soylent actually might be much. fairly high in fat, because I don't think that's why- the, the, This is how you should think, I've, and uh, this is how you should think. You should have enough proteins, but not too much. Then you have the amount of fat that you need for the for different body functions, mm -hmm. and as much carbs 
as you can handle without getting fat. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's how, how you need to think. How many grams of fat a day do you think? What's your weight? Um, Like 70 kg or something. I don't know. Hold on. Around 70. Yeah, but it, 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 we're not talking exact numbers here, but about sure. where you should start. Like 70, we'll say 75 uh, kilograms. I would guess around 50 grams is, you shouldn't go lower. Jesus Christ. 50 to 70 grams. What do you think Maybe fat is important? What do you need fat for? Different hormone production. I don't even remember everything. But Sounds it's, like it's not uh, important then, can you? But okay, I'll keep it. It is important to have some fat. Not saying you need too much, but you need some. Or you might, for your weight, wait, what, what do I have? Oh, do I have 70 grams? Between 1700 and. Uh, but the carbs, that's what you uh, do you want. I'm probably getting around 40 to 50 grams of fat a day. I don't know. That is, is there, enough. Yeah, is there fat in oatmeal? Uh, yeah, but it, it, it isn't that much. Oh, there's it's fat in milk, milk, right? Yeah, it's yeah, okay. I'm it absolutely really depends on what kind of milk you're. Doing. Two two percent milk. I'm absolutely getting um enough fat every day then. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but fat is usually the easiest thing to get enough of. Uh -huh. But how much protein do you eat? Uh, I go for like one fifty. But it isn't too bad. That that's probably enough. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I wouldn't get go much higher than that at all. Yeah, I don't. Then you just have to eat a shit ton of rice, potatoes, and oatmeal. That's what you need. Yeah, that sounds good enough. Cause I, and I want to, even if you're a band, we're doing a gym stream once. Okay, we'll do it eventually, yeah. yeah. Hey, can you, what happened to that yeah. other Norwegian guy who was super, 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 like, spray tanned and uh, did, like, crazy fucking weird shit? Super ah oh, Stian Norway. Yeah, I think <laughs> that's it. he he was banned a lot of years ago on Twitch, and he got a second chance. Two days later, he was perma banned again. <laughs> that guy was fucking something else. Can you? Were you friends with him? No. Have you seen the clip where he gets knocked down in the street? No. Do you got it, uh, Andy? Oh, I can find it. Is on YouTube. Okay. It's on YouTube. Because the, the thing is, he is saying a Norwegian swear word, like from, from the old days, which can sound a bit racist, but it, it isn't, ref it, it <laughs> oh, isn't no. referring to skin color. But the guy he's talking to, he isn't Norwegian, so he doesn't understand that it isn't referring to skin color, because it's referring to Satan instead. <laughs> So, so it really, he got punched for nothing. Jesus. Really? Damn. Okay, Dan, did you settle on a place? Uh, so this is a lunchtime affair, yeah? Well, like 11.30, 11 to 11.30 would be good. Um, yeah, that's the guy right there, by the way. Can I post it in your chat? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I post it in Destiny's. <laughs> you should watch this. Uh, this the fun. What are we doing? This guy shaves his fucking sides so high. Holy shit! Do you shop today, so? Yeah, you shouldn't do that. Yeah, go lower. The guy is saying that take the camera away from me. He's saying I'm not filming you. I'm just filming in front of me. And <laughs> that's what they're arguing about. <laughs> Well, the camera was like right in the dude's face. No, that's kind of. 
<laughs> I mean, I thought that I would have assumed that this was a streamer. It's kind of autistic to be like, I'm not filming you. I'm just filming right, like what's in front of me. But okay, we're going. Uh, that's bullshit. Are you fine, man? This film is my you. What for, Sherma? Cut it. What for film, man? Cut it. What for film, man? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Man, you know who I am? Right, right, right. I from, I'm from Birmingham, man. Oh, what the fuck you talking about, fin, nigga? Fin. What, what, oh, no. what you talking about? Yeah, Slim Shady, what fin. you talking about? You know me? Fin. What, you, what the fuck <laughs> you talking <laughs> about, man? You fraud, man. 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 You Ikke stopp for ham, her, mann! Jeg skyter deg, mann! Get the fuck up! Jeg skyter deg, mann! Hold deg unna, mann! Jeg holder deg unna, mann! Du bare gikk faen, ass! Ikke fyr meg, mann! What the fuck, what the fuck, ass! Ja, slett det, så er vi enige! Man driter opp, alle irriterer seg over han! Du, bare ikke gitt deg! Helvete, fatt for faen er galt med deg, ass! Mennesker! What the fuck, mann! Hæ? Stopp et fyr! Kan du gå bort? Svarte faen, ass! Hva er det galt med mennesker? Svarte faen! Det er, eh... Okay. Well, that's that. <laughs> Can you, the, the reason I ask is I feel bad that you don't have very many Norwegian homies to hang out with. And I, I want you to... I feel like you could start like a Norwegian streamer revolution with you yeah. at the helm. Do you feel like you could you could do that? Uh, I'm not sure we, we actually had the event today with the eight Norwegian streamers. Really? You know, there's a... I know of a Norwegian streamer uh, named Endeline, and you should hit him up and you guys can, can do stuff as well. He's a big fan of yours. And there's not that many of you guys Nor Nor Norwegians, so, you know. No, we're not right. many. We're not so, so it's many important that you band together. Yeah. I'm going to do some collabs with a Fortnite streamer soon. Really? He's pretty are you, big. Are you, are you big in Fortnite? No, no, we're going to do something else. Not play Fortnite. I can't play shit. He's one of the best in the world. Yeah, damn. What are you, what are you the best at, Canute? Bodybuilding. Bodybuilding well, I mean, maybe, on the computer. Least, uh, what games? Yeah. Uh, I haven't played it much lately, but pro probably CSGO. Really? That's where I could play the best. What rank did you get up to in CSGO? <laughs> Global uh, elite. We play no, but we didn't play much matchmaking. We played Face It. Yeah, they were on Face It at ESCA. You wouldn't know about that, Dan. Um, okay. Were you a A rank, S rank? What were you on a Face It? What no, I, I don't think I were higher than seven or something. Okay, cool. But it, it's that that's uh, you, you're playing against global elites then. Of course. Uh, Can you, have you ever tried to lose your accent? Because a lot of people make fun of you for the accent, or at least it really it's a lot of people do the new accent. They do. Can you actually? This would be great. Hold on a second. Can you? Can you? I want you to try and do an American accent for me, real quick. Put on your your best I, I American could, accent. The thing is, I, I, I wouldn't. I couldn't do that at all. I, I'm Come really on, good at Nor different. I'm really good at Nor different Norwegian dialects. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm good at imitating them, but not American accent. You can't even. You can't even do like the Valley Girl accent or anything else. I, I don't think I would be able to. Then I would need to hear someone say it first and then try to repeat. That might work. So like no like cowboy or valley girl no, or any not, of that. Not, no, nothing, not, huh? Nothing. Not without listening to it first. But I have never tried to get rid of the accent. Never been working on it. And I think Well no, I just think it'd be funny to because your your accent is so like iconic. Um yeah, the, to hear you talk I, without it would be like jarring. Very weird. Uh, yeah, very jarring. I think I would be less known on the internet if it wasn't for the accent. Don't you think so too, that? Oh, 100%. Because like the, then I would the... just be the bodybuilder sitting there talking. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> and now you're Knut. <laughs> now you're Knut from Norway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, so, so, let, let's hear some of the Norwegian, uh, Norwegian areas. Go ahead, give them to me. Okay, you can get... Um... For example, uh, for example, we can talk. Um, oh, I need I, I need to think about someone that. Yeah, talks. go ahead. Um, give me a second. I throw a Trondheim. That's for example up in the north. Okay. Or. 
Jeg kommer fra... No, wait, that was, I missed. I, I, I can't hear myself speaking. If I do... Uh, if I had the headset on, so it's a bit harder. But I could do... Uh, have you heard uh, Nick's uh, girlfriend speak? No. If, if, you say, if you say where she's from in Norwegian, Bergen. But if you say it on her di dialect, never, never mind. I I have no idea what's going on. It all sounds like they, they have just a, they saying they have weird an, words. R instead of R, so they would say Bergen. Oh, Bergen. oh my God! So, you, you're so, doing so, an amazing me. job. That is that is epic. Dan, you're the one that asked him for this, and now you're listen, being I, disrespectful. Listen. I'm not being disrespectful, but really, what I, what I want to hear, Knut. And you, you can a, speak. How, my, you wouldn't hear the difference because you don't know how it sounds anyway. Yeah, that's the, that's the have, problem. My dialect is really like Kona. Like, I would say the place where I'm coming from. Jeg kjem fra Hallingdal. Jeg heter Knut. That, that's closer to my dialect. If I said that in bokmål, which is the more standard. Jeg kommer fra Hallingdal. Jeg heter Knut. Mm -hmm. that, that's two different ways of saying exactly the same, if you heard any difference. Gotcha. We Which... could have... Uh... Oh, there, there's many of them. There, there's so many dialects that it's hard to think of uh, them, like you... Uh, on the go. I even managed to do... When I heard someone speak, I managed to do English accent, different English Norwegian accents. Really? That's easier. Well, that would be easier for us to follow along on, because uh, yeah. yeah. But it, but it's hard to do them when you haven't listened. And I often need to listen to the dialects up first. But as far as like other languages or anything like that, you don't really have anything you're particularly good at. Uh, no, I uh, speak English and uh, Norwegian. Gotcha, gotcha. Like Swedish is almost the same. Yeah, sure. But, it, but, it, uh, but you would also have to, you would miss some words because they're uh, as a Norwegian, you're not sure about all the Swedish words they say different than us because it's really similar, and then suddenly you miss a word. So when's the Florida arc happening for you, Can you? I'm not sure. I'm the, the things I'm the the things that I don't like with America is uh, healthcare. Wait, are you planning on moving to, to America? Yeah, at least for oh, for. Uh, but but the thing is, if I move for like half a year, I don't need any visa and I don't need the healthcare or insurance because I can just use my travel insurance, mm -hmm. which costs like hundred dollars per year, and that would cover everything. So you're gonna move to? Healthcare. Are you gonna move to Miami and work out with Steve? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. You too, Dan. You're coming. Oh, Steve, yeah. can you can you appeal your ban on Twitch so you can at least join my gym streams? Have you thought about going to YouTube, Canute? Yeah, Canute. Well, I do you know what? There, there's some rumors now that Twitch might uh, work on new partner contracts where they're not exclusive on Twitch. Yeah, we saw the leaks. We'll see what happens. Uh -huh. If that happens, I'm multi-streaming from day one. Well, I think it's fucked up, the whole way that they do that. But I mean, right now, you could still stream to YouTube. You just can't do both at the same time. No, you can't. No, not on a partner contract. I don't believe so. No, no, you can't. You can? No, you ca cannot. Okay. I mean, you guys sure about that? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, pretty sure. sure that the Twitch contract says that any content that you create that you stream on Twitch gives Twitch a 24-hour exclusivity to it. But, but it doesn't say plus, that. But if you don't create the content on Twitch, then there's no binding to it. I'm pretty sure it also says that the content that you can provide on Twitch... So, for example, it would probably be alive, allowed to be partner and do sexual content on some other web pages, because that's not in competition with Twitch. Um, well, my partner contract, which is much newer than both of your partner contracts, didn't when did say you get anything. yours? Oh, Jesus! Two years ago, three years ago? I don't know, something like that. But I don't. Mine isn't that old because I had to uh, sign a new one when I wanted a better split. I would be shocked if this was the case, 
Um, cause I was just fighting against the idea that I think it sucks that they don't let you dual stream, but you're saying you literally can't, even if you're not streaming on Twitch today, my you understanding, can't load up YouTube. Dan, the way that your contract is written, I'd have to see the verbiage, but my understanding is that, um, it's, it talks about something called licensed content and your interpretation yep. was that licensed content was stuff that you made on Twitch. But I think my interpretation is that licensed content is all kinds of video content that you make. That was my understanding of it. Well, you can go, you can go through it. It, it has to do with the specific verbiage in the contract. Dan can go and read it if he wants, but like, it'll say something like, like the licensed content must be on Twitch for exclusive blah, 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 blah. And then I think Dan's interpretation was that licensed content is just whatever gaming content you make on Twitch. But I'm pretty sure that yeah. licensed content is whatever you're partnered by Twitch to stream. That's my yeah. understanding of it. Oh, actually, I'm, I, never mind. I know I'm correct. Because um, when I would get banned in the past and I wanted to stream on YouTube while I was banned, my partner manager would always tell me it was a really, really, really bad idea. And then I could get super fucked for it. Yeah. Wait, it looks like, so what Gappy just posted in chat, this is even, so let's say that's the case. This might be amazing. So the term says, uh, I'll just read it. They have uh, licensed content means any and all audiovisual content that is developed, created, produced, or licensed by the content provider or its players and teams as app uh, applicable that is permitted by the terms of service. So, um, and it goes on. But so for instance, that would mean on OnlyFans content, you obviously can go and do that because that would be banned by Twitch, right? Yeah, like I said, wasn't that what I said? So okay. really all you have to do then is do a naked up, gym stream. You, no, just the first minute, just have a cock up for the first minute and then you're good. And then this wouldn't have been permitted on Twitch. Like that's it, just start off with a fucking schlong on your screen. Like, is that allowed just, on YouTube? Um, well, yes. As wow. long, so go Google uh, naked yoga on YouTube or go, <laughs> I shit you not, stuff's up there. It's fucking crazy. Okay. It's up there, Canute. Like it's what? up there, up there. So, Uncensored. So do some do some naked yoga with Destiny at the gym on my YouTube channel. Well, no, not, not even we you. Live. Not even you have to do it. You just have to show naked yoga. Someone else could do so it for the really? first minute. And that'd be a fucking banger way for you to start your stream too. You ever thought about that? I'm getting in the viewers. Yeah. Well, good idea. You're welcome. I just, I'm filled with them. Well. Oh, but uh, if, if they um, let us uh, stream on different platforms, that would be nice probably, don't you think so? Well, well even streaming with, with Steven would be against the terms of service. So there you go. That's easy, easy peasy. Just stream with Steve. It's not allowed on Twitch. So yeah, you're doing it here. Done. Done and done. The only thing is, if Twitch decide that they don't like that and ban me, there's nothing I can do. I think they'd probably be very nervous about banning for that type of stuff because that seems Why like they, this... Twitch doesn't give a fuck. What would they be nervous about? Well, that because if you're banning someone for exclusivity like that, I think that's the type of shit that's maybe Amazon is more afraid of right now with right. all the union shit they have going on. Don't maybe they're maybe. a little bit more sensitive. No, you don't. You don't think they're no. like fucking yellowing it. No, they're fucking. They're yellowing. It's like a bunch of Dan's over yep. there, just like oh, fuck, well, yep. Let's get them all on Twitch. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay. Look at how Twitch runs itself. Of course. What do you mean? Yeah, one hundred percent. The thing is that uh, the team that bans people isn't working with anyone else. Yeah, it's not the legal team or the partnerships team. No, They're their no, own. So they don't give a fuck. Nuremberg fucking entity or whatever. How does that make uh, you feel, Canute? Feels like I'm not any free. Uh, it isn't American freedom I've been dreaming about. That's True. what I feel. Canute, do you feel like your um, political takes are being squelched by Twitch, like you can't, you know. No, I'm watching all Trump rallies on Twitch. No one has complained. You're watching what? Trump rallies. Oh. So you don't feel like you're being suppressed or passed over, like you're not on the homepage because of your uh, political views? Absolutely not. No, so why I, 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 Dan. Yeah. We, some people might think I'm pretty extreme, but I'm... Uh, I'm center, dead center when it in comes Europe, to politics. In Europe, you're, you're, you're a moderate in Europe. In in America, I'm a moderate. I'm center, center. Okay. But but that would mean you're far out right in Europe. If you're center America, mm -hmm. you're far right. Because America is very, what, we're far right, all of us? Or far left. Uh, you're, you are far right, every one of you, except the extreme left. 
They what might be left. What do you think of the extreme left in the United States? Why are you trying to bait him, Dan? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just not, asking not questions. I'm asking what I think questions. About the far out left. I think they're the same as the far out right. They're dog shit crazy, all of them. Hmm. Everyone that is extreme is crazy. The, 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 all, the best way, in most cases, almost all of them, is a good middle way. So my, my friend, the Norwegian guy, Endeline, that I was telling you about, the Twitch streamer, he told me that in Norway, they don't even have racism. Not if you're talking about the... Uh, what, is, what is the... the... What is the word before racism that you have uh, that you're always talking about in the United States? Problematic. The, no, no, no. The um, sy systematic. Oh, is systemic. that the word? Yeah. Systemic racism. No, there's no. Basically, not none of that there. there. But individuals, of course. But that is the. That's different. I say every. Everyone has equal rights here. Everyone can go to school for free. You can choose the school you want to go to. Free hospitals for everyone. If you're not working, you get your welfare money. It doesn't matter who you are. This guy, Endeline, he, I'm telling you, you guys would get along. You have very, very sim similar views on this stuff. Yeah, but this is true. Yeah. I can't tell if he's being patronizing or just super Swedish. Norwegian, you mean? Whatever he is. Individuals that is racist, of course they are here as well, but they are suppressed as hell, and they're so the groups are so small that they're irrelevant almost. You saw what happened in Sweden. Now there was this leader from Denmark of like a small, small niche racist group came there. And they released fucking hell on him when he came in there. Burned down everything when they came and he, he was going to burn uh, an, like a Quran no shit it was riots for a week almost in Sweden after he came there so like there are people but there are, there are few hmm um, in, in, oh. in Norway, how they're saying that we want to... Wait, what is it? We don't... We're, we're so always... This has been since... I, I don't remember the date, but it was dated back in... Uh, I have to just look, at, uh, look it up. Give me a second. We don't want Swedish... Wait, what is that? Uh, uh, uh. What would be the expression? I'm not sure if there's an English expression. Swedish conditions. I'm not sure if that is correct, but this is something they started back in the days and it's been taken up again at Norway because since we are even further out alone, they always say that we in the Norwegian newspaper, they're referring to Swedish conditions. People are like, we, we're so happy that we don't have Swedish conditions in Norway. Uh, have you, you know, heard about that? Yeah, dude, my 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 um, my buddy Endeline, he complains all the time about how it's so fucked so that he has to actually go in like, you know, people are like traveling back, back and forth to like get butter because of the cost of like the disparity in cost between Sweden and Norway. What's going on with that? It, it isn't a butter only, it's everything. Everything. It is, um, we, we, we go border shopping in Sweden. They, really? they have like the biggest fucking shopping centers, or not the biggest, but like food stores, liquor stores, tobacco, and all kinds of bullshit. And that's where we go to shop. All, uh, everyone goes there. So because why? It's cheap. Yeah, what what is it with your politicians that allow that to happen? Because that seems like crazy. Uh, that allows what to happen? I... What I miss? So basically, uh, my buddy and Knut were complaining. Like essentially, like if you live in Norway, like the cost of so many goods is so fucking crazy high that they literally just drive like ten minutes into Sweden and get it for like you know half cost for a lot of shit. Well, 
Wow. Why they let that happen? Well, yeah, because that's really like a, a you know, um, a Dude, failing of the economy. I don't think it matters well, much. I think that Norway gets like a fuck ton of its money from its oil reserves and anything anyway. Do they really care that much about that, that industry? Yeah, but if that's the case, mm -hmm. why are you making people go into Sweden to buy shit? Like, just low, uh, then stop, you know, having the fucking, you know, They have started tax. lowering the prices on some things. The thing is, they, they have taxes and stuff, but they really don't. They can't control it because it's too many people going over. So they really don't care that much about individual people shopping stuff in Sweden. Yeah, you're gonna have like strict border patrol or some shit, or? Uh, just to stop uh, grandma from buying her uh, one bottle of uh, liquor. Yeah. It is. Hmm. The wages aren't crazy in Norway. I'll tell you one thing, Dan, when people say that the general population in Norway is rich, they don't know how it is to live here. The general population is rich if we go out of Norway. But it, no people in Norway are starting to struggle these days because of high uh, energy costs. No shit. It, it has been a horrible energy policy, sir. Like the electricity prices, when they're at the lowest right now, it's 10 times higher than it was last year. 10 times. No and shit. we are producing all the electricity ourselves. But the reason is even worse energy politics around in Europe. Oh. So, no. So that's the. Uh, but people, uh, there's no uh, culture for rioting in the streets there. So no one will do anything. Well, you had that fucking insane mass murderer, dude. Like, he was all about, uh, like, Norway being independent and shit like that. Who was that guy? Uh, yeah, the terrorist Breivik, but that's one guy. Yeah. That doesn't mean it's culture for rioting. Yeah, Dan. No, I, I just know what, like, uh, my buddy Endeline says about this shit. I don't know fuck all about... Why don't you just bring Norway. Endeline here to talk? We're just gonna keep parroting his points uh, then, Dan. I don't... I don't <laughs> Endeline in the room with you? Yeah, no, is he I in just, the room uh, with you right now, Dan? No, he's not. Oh, he's at the bottom of his. He's at the bottom of his old Reach out to him. He's a Twitch streamer. He's a busy guy. I'll, I'll reach out to him and see if I can get him in. Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah. The, what, what the guy said in chat, Knut. You don't forget thirty-four percent income tax for the, for if you have like a mediocre salary. Bro, depending on what state you live in the United States, I'm gonna be honest. We have taxes that rival. <laughs> okay, some of you Scandinavian fuckers. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think my effective tax rate in California, I want to say it was approaching like 40%. It was unbelievable. Uh, 40% but, for but yours. 40% for no have... fucking healthcare and no fucking buses okay, and yeah. no fu Yeah, it's garbage. It's fucking bullshit. And shit schooling for your kids. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get. I, I would have complained about that as well. But um, the thing, everything here is taxed so bad. Like, Imagine we're producing oil ourselves. Uh -huh. Gas prices now would be more than ten dollars a gallon. Sure. We pay like when I pay electricity this month in the winter, I pay more than thousand dollars a month. Damn. For electricity. For for an average Norwegian family which lives in a decent house. They don't have a thousand dollars to pay for electricity. If they have three, let's say two parents, three kids, they have mortgage to pay off. They uh, might have uh, borrowed money for a car, maybe two cars. Yeah. What does Endeline think uh, about that, Dan? I don't know. I'm trying to get him to come in, but he's being shy. So I don't know. I'll keep trying. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Dan. Oh, no, I agree. We should get him in. You know, I shouldn't have to be, you know, being the, the middleman here. Uh -huh. I'm his manager, kind of. Yeah. Um. So, Canoe, how mm -hmm. is the weather out there in Norway right now? Cold? Right, spicy? Right now, it has been really nice. Shorts and tank top weather. Too hot to wear a t-shirt, even. Nice. For, for me, at least. But... Um, Usually, Obama. I would say 80% of the year, it's horrible. I was thinking about almost traveling there, but then I decided not to. Uh, if the weather is nice, it can be okay. 
No, the Norwegian summer when when you have those weeks where it is nice, I think you would have enjoyed it. Um, Oslo is way more is more north than Stockholm, right? Quite a bit more. Uh, oh, Endeline. Hey, and not too much. Hey, is up? it not? Oh, okay. So Endeline yeah. here is a, a longtime friend of mine. I've been giving him a hard time, Knut, but uh, he is a huge fan of you. We talk about you all the time, so I thought I'd. Bring him in here. Huge fan. Hello, hello. Uh, hello, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know why I'm laughing. Oh. No, they're, that's the thing. I play, <laughs> I play Rust with that. If you want to do a Canute accent, that's oh, fine. No, it's not, he's not a Canute accent. He lives in Norway. He is my Canute. I play Rust with him, and that's, that's why it's very, so... Very true. I live in Norway. Well, I can uh, hear that he's doing a Canute accent. <laughs> he's not! Yes. In the line! Talk to what, him in what? Norwegian so he knows you're authentic. I can't. I, I am most definitely Norwegian. Very, very true. Oh my god. Wait, make him speak Norwegian or else, Dan, I'm kicking for racism. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no the, what I'm saying is I can hear that he is Norwegian, but he sounds more dude. like when no, Hassan no. is, pro, it, when oh, no, Hassan is, uh, is doing the accent, he is adding extra accent. It's really easy to hear when people are doing that. Cause Whoa, are you bullying my Knut accent, dude? Yes, I'm holding you. Can <laughs> you can hear that is fake. Canute, or sorry, no. I, there's two Canutes in the call right now. Endeline, um, no. he doesn't believe you, so I don't. There's not much I can do, but uh, you know, I'm I'm trying here. Canute, have okay. you ever thought about playing Rust? Does that look like a game that you'd be interested I, I've, in? I've played it. What do, are you a fan? I think it was a good game, but I'm not will. I played with some of the pros, and I'm not willing to put in that much hour because they're insane. Mm -hmm. Have you thought about playing with some not pros? Like Endeline here is a not pro, but he would be. Uh, we could all together, you know, we could be we a could team. All together play as a team. That would be fun. Wow, Dan, yeah. what do you think about them getting rid of? Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what are we talking about? Oh. The rare destiny oh, mistake no. in a Dan call. <laughs> Getting wit of Not the good. <laughs> Not good. Oh my Welcome god. Home, Elmer Fudd. Okay. Welcome to old age, my friend. It'll happen to everyone. What do you think about them getting rid of uh, recoil patterns? <laughs> I think it's good. All right. Wow. For too long, mm -hmm. scripters in this game have dominated oh, things, scripters. and now, yeah, okay, now yeah. it is our time <laughs> to shine. Okay. Wow. Look at you, Mr. Impressive. That you learned how to pull down your mouse in exactly the fucking right way. Woo! So special. No. No, I don't care. But uh, can you, yeah, if you want to play, I'll I'll hit you up. We um we play quite a bit. It's a lot of fun, and um, mm -hmm. you know, it'd be you know, it's a good change of pace for you. What do you do most of your times? When you're not putting things up and or lifting things up and putting them back down again. What do I do? Mostly yeah. drive around and uh, or sit at home and talk bullshit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, just like uh, everyone else in this call. Yeah. Well, do a little bit. Isn't that what we all do? Um. I guess a little bit, Canoe. A little bit. Uh, a little bit. You know, we should get back into Warzone. Um, but I, I only want to play the Apex old Apex is better. Apex is better. Obama. Well, I don't want to learn a new game, so tough shit. Dan, Fortnite has a no build mode right now. Do you want to play that? Ooh. I've never played Fortnite before. Are you good at Fortnite, Knut? I'm not any good, but I played the uh, no build, and I enjoy that way more than with building. I really love building, though, Knut. I'm, I'm just, You're you know, to... I'm something oh. of a builder. I like it a lot. Builder. Wow. So is Fortnite like a is that like a Zoomer game? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Zoomers are uh, way too fast. To Here's the real question for you, Canute. All right, I mm -hmm. want you to put on your big boy pants. I want you to tighten your belt, and I want you to answer to me this: What is going to be the next big splash in video games? So we had coming up here. We have uh, mm -hmm. we had Among Us, and then we had. Um, Fall Guys. So, what's coming up? Fall you know, guys? what's the next? What's Fall the next guys big? Among us? Wasn't yeah, Fall Guys don't... there for like one week? Uh... Well, I mean, these were big moments in time, and you could have got in on it, and you could have been the Chad Worldwide Champion of Among Us, and you could have been sus 
So what's the next one? To, to, to be honest, I have no idea what will be uh, the next big game. I feel like uh, Valorant has failed a little bit. At least when it comes to viewership, it, it is fairly big. But it, I think it was hyped up uh, to be like the biggest game that would take over for everything. When it, I don't think it happened. So we're going to have to uh, wait and see. Yeah. Apex did a comeback because that was uh, really low for a while, but it's now it is uh, decent. Overwatch 2? I don't know. The newly announced One Piece trading card game is going to be the next Twitch meta. All right, Endeline, thanks for stopping by. It wasn't thanks much to said. Do you want to say goodbye to Canoe? Goodbye. Goodbye, guys. No, who, who is this guy? Is he, a, is he a streamer as well? No, he, I'm, yeah, not, he's not, a, a no, I'm not a streamer. He is. Canute, well. listen to me. No, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this and it's a little bit hard because I know he's on the spot. He is a streamer. Twitch.tv no. slash Endeline. No, and he's a huge fan of yours. Okay? And that's the only reason I brought it together. Is I, I, kind of... I, I, I can feel the irony in your voice. Yeah. I'm not being you know, ironic. I'm not. Listen to me. That is okay. a master of sarcasm. He is very, very good at sarcasm. Canute, yeah. if, if that was the case, would he willingly come here and talk to you? He was fucking begging me. I, I wish I could show you anyone. Yeah. I got dragged in there because Dan threatened me. Wow. I didn't do it. You know what? I didn't do it. Wow, Dan. You, Pretty you disgusting. Tell what happened, Dan? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but, uh, but he is Norwegian. He is 100% Norwegian. He has a weird. He is. He has a weird accent that I've never heard from a Norwegian. Why is it before. weird? Because it because it doesn't sound Norwegian. It sounds Norwegian enough. It's it's. Mine sounds song. mine sounds like like the parody of a Norwegian accent, but I've never heard you yours on a Norwegian before. I mean, listen, there's, there's like gradients of Norwegian accents, right? Yeah, but I've, I've heard different grades of Norwegian accents. Not yours. It's different. He's some sort of de deviant Norwegian. <laughs> Shut up, Dad. Your accent is better, though. You realize that, right? Well, that's why he's famous. <laughs> but for all I know, you could have a big Twitch channel as well. No, no. No? Let's see. He's just an up and comer. Oh, He's just an up and comer, but a huge fan. Just like me. I'm a huge fan too. I am. Who isn't, right? Well, how can you not? It's Knut. I I used uh, at least one or half a year to get to his following. The first half a year I, I used to get to his following. Really? So, so following? if he has to the same following as Enderland, that was a fucking struggle Yo, in the beginning. Oh. I see you've been uh, down yeah. badly. Well, I mean, getting started as you a new streamer, like, over that plump it's fucking rough if you're not orbiting like someone like, like a bitch. Uh, you're saying like some super you know? weird shit. Not so if you're just coming in there doing your thing, it's like, it's true. impossible to get discovered. Unless, He's like, you hot. hit fucking magic. You know what I mean? Yes, you have to be uh, fucking lucky. And constantly fucking networking. Yeah, yeah networking. And constantly streaming. Mm-hmm. You gotta keep... And that's the hardest thing, probably. Sometimes you're going live, and there's like no one watching you, right? When you're starting the off worst. initially, maybe. And then, like, and then you finally you finally hit like 40 viewers, and then Steve goes live, and it drops to 13, and then you want to kill yourself. Jesus Christ! What happened? Usually, what happens? Yeah, it's rough. Keep huh? hating your life, then. But uh, um, Andy. Then you choose to leash from someone called Dan, and then he doesn't stream, so it's like. Well, if you chose so poorly, yeah, if you're like who, who can. Who can who can I orbit? It's and like a seven-year chose... investment. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you it's got the a worst fucking... investment I made in my life. You're like, ah, oh, <laughs> I can choose this guy for sure. You fucked up. And then Dan goes, "I'm gonna stream, guys. I'm gonna stream next week, everyone. I think I'm gonna become a full-time streamer." Look, I thought I could do it for a little bit. Okay, I did. And I think if I was to stream more often, I think we could have a fun time. The problem is, it's just it's so much of an investment. I want to wake up and be entertained. I don't want to be doing the entertaining. That's too much. What do you um? Dan, oh, you sorry, no. you you have different work as well, don't you? Yeah. So why would you even bother uh, doing more streaming than you do now? Well, it's just fun. Yeah, but uh, bother doing more. You're just doing it for fun. Mm -hmm. That's been the case for me for years. Just kind of coming around, fucking around, doing nothing. 
if I could do anything else, I would probably, st or if I had uh, something else on the side, I would probably do the less streaming as well. Yeah, exactly. And then after you don't do it for a while, you realize how nice it is, like not doing it at all and like not having to like, yeah, that's a problem. What were you saying, Steve? Did you find a place for us to eat yet? Oh, um, uh, we'll find out tomorrow morning. Is it tomorrow? Like lunch? 1130 yeah, or something? Like 11, 1130 would be good. Okay. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Brunch. So, so since Dan has been so sarcastic, what is your political? Hold on. What is your political takes oh, about god. Norway? Let me hear. Oh god. All right, Endelin, give it let up. Let let it, is this a oh, is this no. a blood red communist you have pulled in here? Yeah, no. Uh, you know Socialist what? Socialist is the party. Him. Yeah, ask him. Speak for yourself, Endelin. I'm not going to defend you. <laughs> let me hear. I I don't do it in Norwegian politics. So it is boring as fuck. Have you? Were you were you in the first of my parade today, walking with the communist party? Have you seen our politics? It's boring. Nothing happens. Boring, but it, it's a lot of it, it's it's just as bad as anyone else. It's a what's fucking the, shit show. What's the last like interesting thing that happened in Norwegian politics, like ever? Uh, that they put up a fucking. Uh, um, cable to Germany and the UK and sold out all our fucking electricity and shit on all oh, yeah. of us. It's been a little bit expensive, a little bit, but you know. Uh, yeah. Oh, Endelin, yeah, what uh, do you think about Canute over here saying that the energy cost is 10 times higher than it was last year? It, it is very true. It is unironically straight up very true. Okay. It is the f yeah. <laughs> exactly. It, it is super expensive. Electricity is super expensive. People are going broke. Wait, really? Yes. Yes, that, it's super, super fucking. Hey, how, how much per kilowatt hour right now? I don't know. It's uh, I can I can look it up. Or how much has your bill gone from Endeline? From what to what? I I pay rent, so I don't I don't have a electricity bill, but I know. Jesus. I can tell you. They don't even pay I their own electricity. Their house. Disgusting. That's like. Okay, let me check. What do you pay for rent? It's gonna be like eight hundred fucking kroner or whatever a month or what? Uh, what do you, 800 kroners? You know what I don't like, know what your like, dog like, ass like fucking 80, currency is worth. Like 80 dollars. Yeah, okay. It's, it's, it's like 8,000 a month. How much is it? What is it? Uh, listen, I, I, pay, I pay a little bit, okay? Don't worry about my rent. How much? How much do you pay for rent? <laughs> like 35,000 of your <laughs> currency. <laughs> He's a billionaire. Do you know how much that is? He would be the billionaire or the, like the king of Norway. 350,000 Norwegian kroners, dude. Like no, no, I'm, I'm saying 35,000 kroners. It's 3,500 USD. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. About thirty thousand. Ah, yeah. that that would be don't, like. Don't worry a, about how much I pay, okay? Don't worry about how much I pay. I, I pay an okay amount. So how? Bad it's is really cheap. cheap. That's what he's trying to say. Yeah, just, of course it's cheap. Yeah. So then don't come. Fuck you, loser. Oh, so you're What, you're what place in Norway do you live? So I could guess. Uh, oh. This, this is Give a region. Reason. Give a region. A region and a line. I I, li I live. I, well, I live pretty close to Oslo. Like not not like. You know, I live close enough to Oslo. I'm like an hour away from Oslo. How? Yeah, I live an hour away from Oslo. That's not close. You can live in a yeah, fucking yeah, Kekona place, and you can live in a decent that's, sized yeah, Norwegian city. Well, I, I so it's impossible. Middle, I live in the middle, middle of fucking nowhere. There's the nearest grocery store is like thirty minutes away on a bike, dude. Uh, how big is your uh, apartment? I thought this or was like somewhere differently. Like, uh, well, it's, it's it's one room. I would guess four to six thousand. No. Yeah, you're, 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 oh my you're god, so you don't even close. pay rent in Norway. It's just all communism. I have one room. What do you mean? I live in one room. If you have he one lives, room, in, it's he free. lives in a rat cave. That's what it says. <laughs> if you have one room, you don't have to pay. That's that's I communism can, rules. I, I Two rooms both, you pay. Both of walls if I stand up. Well, almost. Yeah. Well, okay, but you're Norwegian. Oh, wait, I'm thinking uh, Dutch. Never mind. R rent in Norway is like pretty expensive. Buying houses is fucking crazy right now. The prices are insane. No, yeah, the, the, it's, it's stupid. W one of the things they were marching and yelling about today was everyone should be yeah, afford to buy their own uh, house. Oh, houses, like are not for, <laughs> uh, houses is not an investment. Yeah, that shouldn't be the cap. The, break the capitalists. They were robing the streets today. <sighs> oh my god. Can you believe I mean, that, Endelin? To be fair though, like our our housing market is really fucked. It's like Omega. Fuck. It's like uh, it's like well, it depends on where you live. That depends on yeah, where sure. you live. Yeah, sure. But but it, like I live in the middle of nowhere, and they built a bunch of new apartments there, and they cost five hundred thousand dollars for like you know forty uh, fifty two like square feet, like super like one bedroom apartments, like square five meters. Million. Yeah, you mean well, square yeah, meters. Square meters, right, sorry, yeah. yeah, sorry, oh. sorry, sorry. 
So it's like, so it's like uh, one bedroom apartments for, for for like five million innovation kroners. It's insane. It's insanity. Then you level. live in a decent sized place because I have I a don't. two. I, don't. I have a two bedroom apartment in Stange. If you know where that is. Uh, I have no idea. But I can Google it. Do you know where Hamar is? Uh, listen, I, I'm he's not Norwegian, dude. This guy's an imposter. Something can he, <laughs> he look that end line. I don't know anything about Norwegian geography, okay? Look at this. These are the same European fucks that always make fun of Americans he, for like, uh -huh. you don't know the history and the names of all the fucking Balkans I, or whatever. And meanwhile, I they don't even listen. know cities that are like fucking 20 kilometers away from them, okay? Fuck you. I, I, I could do world map. I could do the world map. Oh, I played yeah. Geo sure. yeah, but what Stung, right Stung is one like one. the Cape Cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah seriously. How do you not know where Stung yeah, is? Like, Jesus. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 45 minutes from Oslo. Nowhere. Come on, dude. It's in the middle of fucking nowhere. How would I know where this is? But it has the Viking ship and everything. Everything Olympics that's in where, 94. That, that's where that, the gathering is there, right? I've been there. Yes, the gathering yeah. is there. Yeah, You've so been, you've been there. there. You've been there. You don't even there. remember it. Driving through Stange to get to Hamar, like, you should know this. That was like 10 years ago. <laughs> oh my but god. But at least I have a I have a two bedroom, 60 square meter in Stange that I bought in 2017 for 1.9. It isn't worth more than like 2.2 .2 or something right now. Brand new. Wow. Well, yeah, I guess. Did I, I mean, rent out to? Uh, I, don't know. I don't know small or... places, but it's super expensive. I mean, but but I, I live close to a train line, though. I don't think you're close to, like a train line or whatever. We have. It's planned to build double train lines into Stange all the way from Oslo, and it's uh, five minutes walk to the train station. Okay. Well, but you don't have them yet, or? They they have train there, but not okay, double yeah. double spur. Some... Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, I get what you're saying. So we, uh, and that's like four, 30 minute uh, train to the airport to Gardermoen. If, if I, I, I'm not going to say where I live because I don't want to dox myself, but if I, if I said where I lived and you, you went on a map and you saw these apartments, I mean, they, they cost 5 million for, for the smallest ones, then it's... That's insane if it is the same yeah. size as Stange. Yeah. Wow. Ah, uh, well, I mean, it's it's very small, but it's it's close to the highway and it's close to the uh, train station. I guess. How big is the city compared to Hamar or Stange? <sighs> Listen, I don't, I don't know. Dude, how, do I, how do I compare sizes? Well, it's either bigger or it's people. smaller. <laughs> I mean, uh -huh. it's not that hard. Um, can I just Google our populations? Yeah, that'd be yeah, one way to do it. it. Okay. Holy shit. 59th most populous populous municipality in Norway? Insane. Did you say 59th? Yeah, well, the, the place Knut lives, yeah. You have 59 municipalities in Norway? Wait, I thought like a, like, don't like... Way more. Yeah, yeah way more. Way wait, wait, all, I'm sorry, wait. What does mean, munis municipality mean to you? Kommune. <laughs> I don't yeah, know how should we explain? It's a, it's a commune. <laughs> oh. How many people live in Norway? I thought it's just, isn't it like a few million? Five people? million. Oh, five, five million. million. Well, six, six, we're boarding six, I guess, but. Isn't it? We, we have a million immigrants, so, you know. Ooh, mm. what do you mean by that? Uh, Swedes, Swedes, Swedes uh, it's, working yeah. at uh, pubs and uh, restaurants. That's what it means. It's, it's, it's like five, how many Swedish people? It's like 600,000 Swedish people or some shit it's like insane. that. It's insane. It's a lot of Swedish people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I don't like. I can't even find. I think my shit is probably smaller than yours because I, I can't even find my shit here. So um, I Google this maybe. Okay, yeah. So, so there's fifteen thousand people in in my munis municipality. Fifteen thousand. You're twenty. So you're 000. you're you're even a smaller place, and yeah. we have the same con train connection. Yeah. And we have highway all the way, hundred and ten kilometers an hour all the way into Oslo. It shouldn't be more expensive. Uh, it is. Ex well, well, keep in mind these are these are new apartments. This was one. Yeah, my, mine was new as well in 2017. Okay, um, I, I, how much did you pay for it? Is that 1.9? What? Uh, 60 square meters. Jesus fucking Christ! Now I'm renting it to a guy from Estland, Estonia. Yeah, I mean that's. Nice. Uh, I, I don't know, like, that, that's, uh, maybe this place just jokes. I mean, they, they called it, uh, I, I actually I can't say the name of it. They gave it a very uh, prestigious name. They, they're, like, pretending to be, like, Oslo place. It's oh, very okay. weird. It's like, it's like the, the place where I live. It's just forest, right? And then there's a bunch of, like, really old houses. Then it's just, like, this completely new area where they're building, like, a fucking pool and shit. 
really Weird. strange shit. Yeah, they put Trent to be a lot of stuff up here as well. Yeah. It's, uh, but it's still just a small, small, uh, small little village. 1.9 million is so little, though. I, c I can't find anything good for that anywhere close to me. Huh. I assume you guys mean fucking Norsk kroner and not of dollars, course, right? Of it's course. It's like $190,000. $190,000. A, a bit no, a, a bit more like two, two hundred, uh, no, yes, yeah, a bit over two hundred yeah, thousand. Yeah, but and this is for like a condo or something. Like a, uh, apartment. Uh, apartment uh, slash uh, connected houses. Interesting. So like kind of townhouses, not necessarily condos and shit. I'm, I'm not they're, sure. They're, I don't know what the difference is. They're apartments then. You know, the, uh, there's like you have like a block of apartments, and you live in one of the one of the apartments. Yes. You know what an apartment is, right, Dan? Yes, I know what a fucking apartment is. Why are you or trying to that, troll me? Or is that too low of a standard for you to even know what it is? I, I, I don't know. Big what you're mansion, trolling? big mansion down in uh, Florida. Right. Well, Canoe, just take it easy, okay? You get the body, I get the brains, okay? Don't be <laughs> stepping onto my onto my turf. <laughs> uh, well, you know, it is what it is. I uh, I look forward to my upcoming trip to Norway sometime in the future. You're actually going to Norway? There's no uh, shot. I will 100% go to Norway. I just need to... Uh, what is the best God. time to go there? When is it warmest in Norway? Norway. I mean, June, July, of course. Well, yeah, that's not the case August, everywhere. Maybe August. Maybe <laughs> what, Dan, August wait, where is that not the case at? <laughs> at June and July is not always the warmest spot? Yeah. Australia? Australia? <laughs> yeah. Wait, Dan, do you know why? What? What's this gonna be? I, I don't I don't know. What? Wait, do you, you know why do you know why do you know right why <laughs> do you know why I'm sorry, hold on, I'm sorry, I'm being an asshole. Oh uh, know... yeah, because of how like how uh, close to the uh the North Pole or the South Pole or whatever it is, right? Yeah, do you know what hemisphere Norway's in? You trying to fuck with me, okay? A bunch of fucking no. stupid fucking Twitch streamers and a goddamn fucking football thrower is gonna tell me shit? Fuck I both have of you a guys. college degree. Ooh, Mr. Ooh. Dan's in communications too, isn't it? No, Dan, the 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 I at least know how hemispheres work. It ha yeah, it has to do with what hemisphere you're in, right? Like the, the Yeah, if it's fucking high up and not. You know, fuck all you guys, all right? I was just saying it doesn't work everywhere. Even above the ocean, Dan? Even above the ocean, that how high above the ocean you are? I'm not going to be criticized by the likes of you, okay? Listen, What does just... that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> Norwegians. <laughs> say, oh, say it. Dan. Okay, <laughs> wait, Dan, Dan. Hold on. What? I just want to just have a moment. Don't you here, like okay? Norwegians? The, 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 the seasons, Dan, have to do with the tilt of the axis of the Earth and whether you're in the northern or southern <laughs> hemisphere. That's where, the, that's where the seasons come from. So, if, so it's going to be the warmest months are always going to be like May, June, July, or whatever, in all of the northern hemisphere. And then in the south, it's the opposite, right? That's what I was saying. You just didn't hear me say it. Okay. You should. You need to listen. I, better. We probably misunderstood each other. I think, yeah, you're bad at listening. Do, you get do better you the, at listening. Do you want the good news though? Then what? No matter when you come here, you have to dress for every every season. Like you need to prepare for winter, prepare for like you know heavy rain. Like it doesn't matter. So true. Except in the winter, you don't have to prepare for summer. Yeah. True. <laughs> true. Also, oh. where where are you? If you go to Oslo, that's going to be an interesting, I guess. Uh, 100%. I'll tell you one thing. I'll yeah. tell you one thing about Norway. Tell me. It's going to be interesting. If you don't enjoy nature, like if if that's like the number one thing, you will find Norway fucking boring. Yeah. Well, nature is not my number one thing. That's literally damn... the only reason to go. I will say, yes, it's very strange because as an American, and I thought this up until literally like two years ago. I thought that like Sweden and Norway were like frozen, like the movie. I thought it was all ice, all winter, all summer, all the time. <laughs> I thought you guys didn't have any fucking trees. That it was just a desert well, place. it is. That's the well, it is eight months a year almost. So you're not completely wrong. Well, you, no, but I mean, like Sweden and Norway are very green places. They're like, yeah, yeah like yeah. for a lot of the when year it's, when it's like summer, or, spring, or whatever. Like, yeah, it's a super green, uh, like lots of trees and shit. I just assumed it was like a frozen hellscape the entire time. <laughs> Especially because like 90% I think of your populations live like in the southern part uh, of your country. Like I'm pretty sure 90% of Sweden's population lives in like Uppsala and to the south. Like there's not many people that yeah, live there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, here it is. 
in Norway, it's like almost, I, I don't know how big the percentage is, but if you go uh, further up than Trondheim, there's so basically no one living there. Yeah, it's like 10,000 mm -hmm. people. Yeah. <laughs> New, do you still talk to uh, Mystic, the DJ now streamer? And, uh, and not that much, but now Is he still that... streaming? He is still streaming. I remember him telling me about there's some massive party that like 18 to 22 year olds go to in Norway. Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, the gathering? Are you talking about the... Uh, I think computer, so. Computer, computer shit and it's a gathering, yeah. But then it's not Computer shit? No, it was like a ma oh, massive like music festival. Oh, music... Yeah, I have no idea then. But are you sure you're not uh, mixing up and the age group here and maybe talking about the Rus? I thought it was like high school. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's the only thing I can think of. Like they would, they like... They entire party. classes of like seniors yep. like rent out like party vans to like drive. Yeah, into... you're talking about the Rus when they're finished uh, high school. What's it called? The Rus. R U S S. R U S S. Are you asking so much, Dave? Are you okay? Hmm. Well, I just remembered it. I wanted them to tell me about it. He wants again. a party. He wants a party. Yeah. Is it just for like kids how, how that old age, are you, Dave? How old are you? Twenty-seven, almost twenty-eight. <laughs> well, no, you don't want to. No. I'm a little old for it. <laughs> You're ten years older than them. I didn't think it. I <laughs> wasn't sure if it was like a all like mid twenties thing or not. No, well, it's, it's only for the okay. people who are finished at school. Mm. No well, one to, else. Be, to be fair, maybe you're like a, maybe you take that class late. You know, maybe you. you know, <laughs> oh yeah. Classes for like I ten years. I mean, high school after football. You know. You would probably feel a bit weird for parting with them <laughs> ten years later. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're do. kids. They're yeah. kids. Well. I feel like in the EU it'd be way easier for kids that age to get drugs. Is that just not true? Uh, in Norway. We live in the like best drug country in the world, Terry. Don't let any of these Euro fucks tell you differently, okay? Right. The media. Uh, uh, is, is there any place in, in the world where it isn't easy to get drugs? I mean, easy is relative. <clears throat> I think I mean, if you're like in places in Germany, you can get crazy shit. But I think we we can find almost anything in like any major U.S. city. You probably have better selection, but I mean, there are repercussions in Norway for getting caught with it are way smaller. So I guess you know there's a, mm. a give and a take. Yeah, like you you might get fined, but that's it. Yeah, you might get fined. Like they, you might they don't get fined. Yeah. Well, if you guys have serious shit, won't you get fucked if you have like fucking fentanyl? It depends, depends on that much. On the, yeah. I don't know if they're like suicidal in Europe with their drugs like we are. Do people do fentanyl in Europe? Probably, but probably some. But to I mean, be honest, I don't know. I'm not into those uh, groups that are just doing that much drugs. Well, <laughs> I mean, what do you mean by? That? I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. My bad. Uh, I mean, well, it's... Destiny, <laughs> there's a difference between yeah, hormones yeah. and uh, hard drugs. You can you can find anything, but I mean the 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 prices are probably going to be way more expensive than in America, and uh, your selection is going to be way more limited, right? That's. But also, you don't go to prison for life, so hey, that's there, that's that, right? No. <clears throat> you might even get some help. Yeah. For free. <laughs> Quitting using the drugs. Wow. Feels Norwegian, man. Yeah. And Dan, if then... you go to Oslo, you'll, you'll find all of that, because that's where they sell that stuff. What, drugs? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if Knut likes Oslo, but Oslo, I think that's like a, it's a very, very shitholy place. How many uh, drugs it is such stand a seized on, on the open seas? The what? What? I said, do you know how many uh, drugs that Dan seized on the open seas? <laughs> no. Oh, seized. As, as, as a janitor, you mean? I, I don't know, dude. But what, what is the punishment? <laughs> Dan, the Coast Guard drugs? janitor. I, well, I was a lawn technician, not a janitor. <laughs> <laughs> Destiny, if the police uh, sees that you have, like, let's say you have uh, five grams of weed, what would they do? <clears throat> Um, I'm trying to think of like Florida. five grams of weed is a that's a lot of weed, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it's like it's way much. more than somebody like we would smoke at one at one point in time, right? No, I, I don't know what they would do. I don't know what like the cutoffs are for. Uh, it wouldn't be for sale at least. It isn't much. Yeah, five grams. Like, uh, <laughs> do you not know what five grams looks like? I don't know. I know for mushrooms, five grams is like 
Um, an eighth of an ounce a is guy in chat is saying so two hundred and fifty dollar five. It's a lot for mushrooms. I don't know if it is for weed. I don't know. I don't. I don't ever like measure my weed. A guy said the five to ten joints. Five grams is like ten joints. Okay, yeah, that's way more than I can smoke. No, no, but I'm saying what would be the punishment? I have no idea. Depends on the cop. I mean, right? yeah, mo I most like I don't life. I don't know. It yeah. feels like there are in some states you have like trips where like once you hit like a certain amount you automatically get charged with um, intent to distribute, which is like a either a big misdemeanor or a low felony or something. I think so. So, so you, you, even though they couldn't prove that they were a seller. No, that doesn't matter. Never sold anything. I, I think it's like it wouldn't matter. I don't know if it counts as like statutory or what, but if you're caught with a certain amount, I think it's automatically um, distribution. Tend to distribute. Yeah. yeah. Fuck! I think I will. Uh, I don't care about drugs, uh, but uh, it sounds uh, horrible. What kind of place are you living in? Well, I. Hey, listen, chill. Where right. they can charge you for things <laughs> you haven't done. Hey, listen, at least we don't go to jail for calling people the N-word on Twitter, okay, in the United States. So, fuck you, all right? You don't go to jail for that hair either? Yeah, it doesn't happen. I bet you do. No, you don't. You do in the UK. I don't know what the UK, but I've never lived in the UK. But there's horrible things, or there's ridiculous things there as well. Yeah, yeah, tell us about it. Things. What are the worst parts about being a Norwegian? I think it isn't bad for us. It's more the way politicians are just throwing our tax money around on bullshit stuff. That, that's the worst thing in Norway. It's like, if it is a problem, let's throw some money at it. Let, let's not try to find the best solution. We open the wallet, we throw money. We don't need to solve it. We can just so for now solve it with some money. Oh. That, that's why is there an NSFW thing. post during stream? Uh oh. <clears throat> Seven. Why would you do that? Bear, get him. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. What do you think about that, Dan? <clears throat> the not safe for work content. <clears throat> No, the throwing money at things. We do that in the U.S. with education as well. So, <laughs> um, I mean, that's that's how you solve problems. No, it's not. I <laughs> wish it was, you, but you throw money at it repeatedly. It's, it's a bad way of solving money. I mean, our, our government is just very inefficient. We, we're very coddled. They they yeah. have a lot of money, so they they feel very comfortable using money. Yes, they're spoiled. Yeah, super spoiled. Of course, they, they've done some good things, like uh, investing all the oil money into the vault. A genius thing that probably not many other countries has done. But uh, other than that, it, it is horrible. A lot of stuff is horrible, at least. Yeah, our government is super inefficient. Super, super inefficient. I, I, I've worked in the, the, the government. Yeah. It's uh, it's pretty garbage. They are. Uh, it's I've, I've all not over the line. Yeah. No, it's all over the line. I've heard so many examples, and uh, you hear it all the time. Uh, it's a lot of a lot of waste, like a lot of wasted money. People in government yeah. lo love to waste money. They love to like rent places for like hundreds of thousands of kroner just for, like events and shit like that that they don't need. Well, yeah, no. my understanding of your government job that you had, from what you've said, is that you did fuck all. Like yeah, they, they do don't worse. do shit. Of course, of course. Yeah, he fun. played Rust all day for years. I did. Yeah, and, that's and true. Making... Yeah, but that, that, that's that's standard government work. You do. <laughs> you, your the hardest thing you do through the day is maybe get go away, walking over, filling up your cup with co cup of coffee, walking back to your desk. Very true. In a in a lot of a place that it is like that. That sounds fucking awesome. Yeah, if you if you want to live in a on an average salary, there's basically no possibility of uh, advancing high up in the system because like the threshold is pretty low. But you have a decent salary, you will live a good life, you won't struggle. You should work for the Norwegian government. Yeah, you get a real good pension, super super good pension. Yeah, that is true. But yeah, you have to to get anywhere. You have to be a super kiss ass. You have to be like the Omega kiss ass. 
Correct. The king kiss us. Do you have um? Do you guys have that same concept that they do in Sweden? I don't know what it's called, but it's like this idea that like nobody is supposed to be super exceptional. The 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 law of Jantel. Yes. Yeah. Jantel law. Oh, the law of Jantel, you guys have that same shit in Norway or whatever. Oh yeah. Oh, it's yeah, built in. Oh, it's fuck. built into sounds... us from our young. Cringe as fuck. Very <laughs> anti-American. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's very anti-American. Yes, you know it's why. Wait, what is this? Explain it for the kids in the back. It's like, you're not supposed to do anything that makes you like super duper stand out or like brag too much about like per personal accomplishments or achievements I, or stuff. Like, I mean, kind of, but I mean, the, the overall theme is just that you're supposed to be like, a, you're supposed to do good for the community and not be like selfish, I guess. That's Fuck that. Probably, yeah, but uh, it, but it, but it, it's interpreted a, a bit like, Everyone doesn't matter if uh, if you work at uh, McDonald's or if you're the CEO of Telenor should be equal. Like not not hundred percent, but that's basically the attitude that a lot of Norwegians has. No shot that that's yep. Yes. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's true. For in what way does that like if you're dating and you're the fucking McDonald's employee or if you're the CEO of fucking some telecom company, they they're gonna be like, oh okay, yeah, both of these things are equal. No, no, it isn't. But that's like the how, people how treat it's, each other like that, yeah. Yeah, and also they want people to, like, for I can take an example. Today, people were marching in the streets. They were marching for uh, against uh, people uh, making a lot of money. Almost, it's like my mother. I remember she's a good example of like this in. Uh, what can I, what's the word? Uh, I'm looking for the word there. Let me think. Like the, you know typic the typical Norwegian, like the attitude of a typical Norwegian. He said, like, why should every anyone earn more than one million Norwegian a year? No one needs more money than that. And that's like hundred and twenty thousand US dollars. So she she's in the belief that no one needs to earn more than that. That's like typical Norwegian attitude. Like those numbers, yeah. of course, are uh, can be different, but that was an example that she she used. No How one needs to make more than that. How will you afford Gucci or Coachella on a hundred? No one, no one needs because uh, for her and for a lot of Norwegian, Gucci isn't a thing. Knut, do you want to hear something interesting? Do you know about that Norwegian billionaire who kidnapped his wife, Thomas Hagen? Yeah. Do you want to know something crazy? So, no, but, but they haven't found out if he kidnapped his wife or not. No, they haven't. Is what you're saying supposed to be private or? Oh, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a citizen in Norway. What the fuck are they going to do? Wait, Anyways. What's supposed to be private? Yeah. You're not supposed to say this guy's name or? No, no. no, no. So, many moons ago. When was this, Endeline? How long ago? It's like 2017 or 16 or something, I think. Yeah, so I, minding my own business. Playing Rust with the homies, <clears throat> and all of a sudden, I get an email from the what is it? Kripos? Tom Hagen. Kripos. <laughs> from Kripos. Kripos. Yeah, yeah, which is like the Norway FBI, I guess, or Secret Service, or whatever you guys want to say. And it's like, hey, <clears throat> um, we have a fucking Code One <laughs> emergency type shit. And I was like, what the fuck is this shit? And it's like one of uh, someone used one of your websites to send a ransom note. I was like, what the fuck, really? And um, apparently what happened is that someone left like a fucking ransom note um, and they used one of my websites. They're like, hey, we need to know the IP address and, uh, you know, a million other things uh, about oh, this. And, you know, any other content that they've created on the same thing. And I, I give it to them. And then I find out like because they don't tell me right then, but I find out a little bit later. This is like the most high profile case that I think Norway has ever had. Right. Because this is like a billionaire's mm -hmm. wife getting fucking kidnapped and they did it on my website how fucking cool is that <laughs> and like they still haven't they still haven't caught the dude you know mm -hmm. they actually yoinked uh the dude's wife or he did it what do you think to be honest i have no idea and i don't i have never seen a good reason to why you should do that oh so you don't believe all women no, no, but no, no, you don't. No, he doesn't believe all women. women. There, there's no statement there's, from any there's women. There's no women to believe. She's dead. Yeah. Uh, she's dead. <laughs> well, you actually don't know that she's dead, so you have to believe. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. I guess. Yeah, but she hasn't made any statements, so well, <laughs> we're not talking she, against her. To believe, yeah, she can't. She can't make a statement because she got yeah. kidnapped. Yeah, but 
point being, why should he do that? I've never seen any good well, reasoning he's a, why. He's a he's a billionaire. He probably wants yeah, to smash some young puss, is my guess. That's what, what? billionaires um, typically want to do. Fuck, um, why doesn't he just do that if, then, Dad? Yeah. Why can't he just do that? Well, because well, then his wife's going to divorce him and take half his money. She can't just take half his money. He's 100% got a contract. Well, now, now can, she can't can take half take. his money. I assume he did it, but I, I don't know. I'm just gonna. But I, 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 don't, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what, what I'm saying. I've, I've never seen like a good reason for why he should have done that. So, no, but I haven't looked into the case. I, I don't fucking. No, know. I haven't either. True. But who else would have done it? Maybe it is someone that kidnapped her for money. Well, it, it like it could have been an accident too, right? Like he could have uh, been upset, upset his spaghetti, and then you know, it's... and then killed her. Whoops, upset yeah, his spaghetti. Yeah, you know, yeah. But <laughs> then he has hired some really oh, good cool. professionals to do the to help him out after. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, if if you had a billion fucking innovation cards, wouldn't you like? It, but it isn't that easy to get uh, hitmen or anything in Norway. You need connections uh, from the outside. Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, depends yeah. who you are. Where you <laughs> what are you talking from experience? The thing, the, the thing you can get oh, in Norway well, that sure. is pretty. Co the thing that is common here is unregistered uh, Yugoslavians. That's what they use. Jesus. That's Jesus. pretty. <laughs> that's. Uh, that has happened a lot of times in the criminal. Uh, they just say nothing. Go to take their punishment. For a cheap price, maybe they don't even get a punishment for killing just people. Just being sent. They might well, just they, be they sent. Oh yeah, I didn't know. Yeah. 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 Wait, be... was it was that dude um, who built the submarine? <laughs> fucking killed a reporter. Was he Norwegian or Swedish? Da Danish. Yeah, Danish. Danish. Yeah, that guy. That weird. Well, I mean, you guys are close to that weird. What a weird no. fucking thing that was. What was that deal? Uh, that dude's deal again? Because that was a fucking crazy fucking story. He, he built he built a submarine. A reporter was on a submarine with him, and then he just fucking killed her. He just murdered her. Yeah. yeah like... How crazy! And then we had it to pieces, didn't it? Recently, we had a Danish person in Norway going like a uh, going like a. Rampage. I don't think it was a killing spree, but yeah, rampage with a bow, <laughs> with a hunting bow. Oh, yeah. With a yeah, hunting bow. Yeah. Yes, in a <laughs> in a city in Norway. What the fuck? Well, it's he like can't have, he like... doesn't have access to weapons, you know, so he has to improvise. <laughs> they have access to weapons if they will. Interesting. They, they, not as much as in uh, the States, but if they, if it's planned out, that all of them have access to weapons. Interesting. So you guys go after each other with bow and arrows. <laughs> yes, and swords. Well, the, the Danes <laughs> yeah, that, do, they're savage. How it should be. The Danes have uh, bows, we don't have that here, we have only swords. Yeah. Well? Have you guys seen the Northmen yet? It's about your... No. no. Is it supposed to be good or what? Um, Isn't Haftor in that one? Is he? I think. Oh, he is, because mm. the main actor is really big. Because Haftor, I think... No spoiler, they fight, I, I guess. But he did, Hoffer doesn't look that big compared to the other dude. He's bigger, but like, I think the main actor for that movie got huge for it or something. Wait, what? Am I crazy? Am I making that up? Who else has seen this Fuck movie? Fuck you, Dan. I still love you, DGGL. Who's the main actor? Is it Alexander Skarsgård? Is that the dude? He's not that big. Yeah, he doesn't look very big. I feel like when I see the mountain in in Lord of the Rings, he's massive. Maybe they use camera angles or whatever. Lord but when I saw him, no, in, no. or not no, Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones. But when he, I saw when he, I saw him in the, when I saw him in the Northmen, I, I didn't even know that I was looking at the mountain. I just thought it was like another like kind of big dude. That, but the mountain is down fifty kilos. Oh, okay. Well, that might explain it too. Sure. Oh, the Alexander Skarsgård guy is tall. He's uh, he's one ninety ninety four, so like six. Jesus. Three six four. Yeah. Yeah, and half half to this two meter and six centimeters. Oh, you cool know, as fuck. has anyone seen the movie, um, since we're talking about movies, the Everything, Everywhere, All at Once? Because apparently this movie is supposed to be fucking amazing. Um, I saw the trailers when it looked like shit, but yeah, it's got really high ratings. I'm probably going to watch it when I go to Tennessee, so I'll let you know in a week or whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. But after has done boxing, he was boxing in Dubai against uh, another strong man. When? Like recently? Eddie oh. Hall, yeah, not long ago. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm supposed to get up there, guys. Sorry. February. It was fun. It was fun to watch. 
this way. How oh, they trained him for Northmen. Who are some famous Norwegians that we might know about? Magnus Carlsen. Uh, yeah, chess guy. That's that's about it. That's a, that's the other guy you mentioned earlier. Yeah, but Erling Erling Braut Holland. He's he's probably even more famous than Magnus Carlsen. The the dude from Game of Thrones. The uh, uh, what's his name again? The giant uh, dude. No, it's not him. Holland is football player. Yeah, I know. I'm saying, but he's he's kind yeah. of famous. Let me check from game of. By the way, Chad, this is the you know Norwegian you have, appreciation wait. thing. So Dan, that's Dan, of what? Jens what? Stoltenberg. Yeah, that, there you go. Jens who the, Stoltenberg. Who the fuck is that? Yeah, you yeah, should he, know that. He's a, he's a weaker Knut because he has a worse Knut accent. Yes. Huh. Jens Skoltenberg? You, you, you need to know. You know who that is. I'm, I of course. How can it. you not know Jens Skoltenberg is? Of course you, know you should know. He's a leader of NATO then. Yeah, damn. Oh. 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 Now, now I feel foolish. Yeah. Uh. Dan, get these guys to pronounce squirrel. Can you guys not say squirrel? Oh god, is that going to be weird? Squirrel? <laughs> squirrel? <laughs> squirrel? Squirrel? L, the L, the L is a oh bit god. Hard. Squirrel? Squirrel? Yeah, squirrel? Squirrel? Oh. Squirrel! There you go then. Alright, I'm... Um... You, you, you can't make fun of people mispronouncing words then, okay? Uh oh. Let's try you in Norwegian, Dan. <laughs> um, okay, what do you want me to say? Norwegian, I'll give it my best. What um, you should say your, your favorite thing is Swedish, then. Uh, I don't remember what this thing is. Uh, you remember, about the potatoes. Oh, yeah, but I don't know. It's like something de, de potatoes. That's it. That's all I remember. <laughs> and there's another one. That's we, can something... just try, we can just try a standard Norwegian where we get some right. food or something. Sure. Right, go ahead. Kake. Wait, what was that? Chad cock? Shut cock. Chad cock. Shut cock. Shit cock. Yeah. Shut. Shut. Cock. That's what I said. Wait. Hold on. Let me listen. I'm not doing a good job. I'm, you're not speaking good, but I'm listening better. So go ahead. Try one more time. Shut. Try to say that. Shut. Cock. Yeah, Chad cock. Shut. Shut cock. Yeah. Shut the cocky. Shut the cocky. Why do you put an accent on? That's what you guys are doing. You guys are doing the same thing. You're like dancing. Shut the cocky. Shut the cocky. Shut the cocky. I fucking I said it. All right. Yeah, that like I'm just putting on my fucking Norwegian accent. That really, my accent. It's not a Norwegian accent. It's Canute accent. That's all I can do. What is a good Canute accent? Well, I mean, you can talk like Canute like this. Anyone can do it. It's not so hard because in my country, you know. I can try. I can try something on my dialect because that's uh, a bit harder. Of, because we're, we're, that's the reason why I have this extreme accent. So right, go for it. We, we can just try something really simple, like my name is Dan. Okay, er, go for it. Er, 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 er heiter Dan. Er heiter Dan. That was in the I Norwegian. Mean... <laughs> The Norwegian way of you're, saying you're your name. You're putting on this like this like Transylvanian like vampire accent. Whoa, what are you? <laughs> er heiter Dan. Er heiter Dan. <laughs> I hey, feel from like Italy. I'm... Would you like spaghetti? <laughs> Obama. I'm, I'm not. I'm speaking clearly the same way you guys. Then I'll, 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 I'll give you an easy one, okay? This one's okay. gonna be very yeah. easy, okay? Listen, listen then. Ari. Ari. <laughs> Ari. Hey, there you go. Ari. That's, that's a super easy, Dad. Ari. You can't even say Ari. Ari. Why are you laughing? Not, it's three so I can't can fucking Ari. 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 There you go. Most one of, of the problems is that integration that. hasn't worked. Seventy percent of migrants can't speak feel like the language and are an unemployed okay on job. I said that. Ari. I said Ari. Ari. You need to ah ah Ari 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 Ari. Ari. I, I Ari. see one in chat uh, wants to me to say e kudden. What the fuck? What? Oh, I don't even. I don't know what that is. Squirrel. E kudden. E kudden. E kudden. Yeah, no problem. E kudden. He couldn't. 
Why do you have that? Why do you do that? What is wrong with you? I'm saying it like Canute says it. Ekorn. Ekorn. Uh, that's the same word. Ekorn. Ekorn. It's just different dialects. Mm -hmm. That's what a squirrel eats. Uh. Do squirrels actually eat acorns? Yeah, why do you think they hoard them? I thought they did other kinds of nuts. You can eat an acorn? Hey, acorn. That's an animal. Yeah, it's a squirrel. What do you mean? It, it isn't what they eat. It oh, is no, I'm thinking... I forget I said anything. I'm thinking of pine cones. Never mind. Nobody eats pine cones, <laughs> right? Uh, Surely they do. Something uh, must, right? Yeah, squirrels do. Squirrels eat pine cones, too? Yeah, apparently. Okay, Isn't acorns it just are good. They can eat pine cones? There are seeds in the pine cone. Okay. Apparently we can too, we just need to boil them. Are those pine nuts? Yeah, the pine nuts are good. But you know, if you have too many of them, you get arsenic. pine mouth. Oh, what does that mean? No, not arsenic. You get pine mouth. Basically, you can't taste shit, or everything tastes metallic for like a few months. Yeah? Yeah. What? <clears throat> I don't make the rules, I'm just reporting on them. I don't think that's true. It's uh -oh. true. Uh oh. Google pine, pine the mouth. Pine no? Pine yeah. nut? No, pine mouth. Mouth? Yeah. It's true. It lasts for two to four weeks, is this? Well, I mean, that's if you only eat like a handful. If you want to eat like a bag, then you can have it go for a little bit longer. <laughs> Are you speaking from experience then? No, it just, you know, if I was going to lose my taste, I would do it like a man. I, I sent you the link. No, I sent it to Destiny. I tried to send it to you, Dan. Janteloven. Oh. Janteloven? Dan's gonna love that. He's yeah. all for the people. He's all for the people. Down message. There it is. Look at this one. The law of Yante? Yeah. The I law of them. Yante is a code of conduct. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. You need to read the rules. It's ten of them. Tell well, it's, uh, it's in think. Norwegian. Det er det jeg danter loven, og du smager det fra det udenlige. Put it in English, Dan. On the left side. Yeah, I I sent him to the English Wikipedia page. Oh right, fine. We're gonna read them out. These sound like rules that I would not follow, but oh, you will trust me. You are not to think you are anything special. You are not to think you are as good as we are. You are not to think you are smarter than we are. You are not to imagine yourself better than we are. You are not to think you know more than we do. You're not to think you're more important than we are. You're not to think you're good at anything. You're not to laugh at us. You're not to think about what the fuck anyone are you reading? cares about you. And you're not to think you can teach us anything. This is what the fucking, this is the bedtime story for Norwegians. They get this. Every kid when he's going to sleep gets read that. Cool. Yeah. Do you, do you, can you imagine how it is to live? as a bodybuilding Twitch streamer in Norway, with that law imprinted into people. Oh, this is like that the leg in whatever bullshit or whatever, right? Or the law of yeah. the law yeah. Whatever the fuck that mm -hmm. is. Hmm. I mean, do people really care about bodybuilding that much? Do, do they like no. bully, bully you because you, you're breaking the law of because of that? Uh, a little bit, because they think, they, they imagine that everyone is that is doing that think they're better than them because they're uh, looking like that, but of course we're not. <laughs> just say it, you are better than them. Yeah, just say it. I mean, just it's lazy people, yeah. <laughs> there it is! Hey, some destiny. I've, no, I've been uh, tested at the hospital. Mm -hmm. I was at least the top 5% of uh, IQ in the population. You're, then you're better. You're I, just better. Jesus I'm Christ. better. I'm... Uh, I, I can do... Uh, I can... Uh, Go through hell with diets. I have no problems struggling a bit. I can work uh, 14 hours a day. I'm better than the average Norwegian. I can Damn. fuck himself, all of them. Look at him go, guys. Gonna get deported yeah. if you keep talking like that. <laughs> yes, but to where? What's that? Oh, oh no. my god. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, what happens to you if the thought police heard you say that, Canute? 
it wouldn't happen much. But they would probably a lot of people with the how, how can we explain this? Because it, it it is a bit hard to explain. Exactly, I, it's not like exactly none of this is like this law shit. It's just like a cultural kind of thing, right? Yeah. Yes. You're not like so in America, would... we are very much like if you have an accomplishment or you have an achievement, you need to like hang up your trophies, you need to wear clothes or pins showing it. Like we're very like right. outspoken That's with right. every achievement we have. Whereas in Sweden, at least in Sweden, I don't know if it's the same now, but in Sweden, you're supposed to be like more humble about it. Like you can still like accomplish things, but you're not supposed to like brag about it. It's more like community oriented. You should less... more hide that you have yeah. uh, done it. It depends on what it is. Like, if you have a lot of money, you shouldn't be driving around in a Ferrari. Whereas so in America, Ferrari, if you have a lot of money, you should show it off in every way. Like, we want to communicate that yes. status as much well, that's, as possible. That's the expectation, right? Like, mm -hmm. if you're not doing that, then that would be weird. Oh, wait a, wait a second. So if you are, like, let's say you're a music artist or something in Norway. Typically, if you're a musician or, like, a celebrity, you're you're flaunting wealth a lot. Like, that's a big part of it. Are you saying that doesn't happen with uh, Norwegian musicians and shit, or no? Uh, it depends on the musician and the music, but, I mean, for, first of all, Norwegian musicians don't make, like... They're, they're not as rich as, like, other musicians would be in other countries, right? Of course. Um, no, no. But, 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 I mean... Okay, in Norwegian music videos, are they driving around in Ferraris and shit? No. No. None I mean, of them? It... it Maybe some music, but I, I, I mean, I, I listen to very limited Norwegian music, so... So what, they're in Honda Civics and shit? I just can't buy it. Are they at least uh, new? Or are they like fucking 1992 Honda Civics and the fucking window doesn't roll down? Like, what is going uh, on here? Okay, I saw a music video for one of the ra rappers uh, from Bergen. They used bicycles and mopeds. No shit. Okay. I'll, I'll, send, you, I'll send you a song you'll like then, okay? Where, uh, where you can see just just uh, the the quality level again. Okay? There, um... there are some quality artists from Norway as well, but it, oh, it's yeah. not about showing oh, yeah, off yeah, money. Yeah. I mean, it's it's not like if you if you're driving a Ferrari or something, you'll get like kicked out of the country or like people. No, no, no. Think less of you. It's just. But let's say you were for a let's say you were for a smaller from a smaller place in Norway and you had the Ferrari. You could guarantee that the neighbors were talking. Yeah, we're talking behind your back, like, "Oh, look at that guy showing off his money! What a fucking douchebag!" Yeah, yeah. More, more like that. That's what you would get. Yeah, societal. So, what about if you have a big house? That's yeah. The uh, same. Depends, look, think it, it, think it's a, think it's the king of the hill, living up on his hill with his fancy house and driving his fancy car. Uh -huh. Like just talking a little bit bad about you. No, nothing more than that. More than that. All right. Nor Norway sounds absolutely not based in shit, and that's why. I don't think. I think this is a Scandinavian thing across. I think is it all the Scandinavian yeah. countries? Yeah. It is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Scandinavian for sure. Yeah, including Finland to an extent, I guess. But what's the wider thing that includes Finland? Not Scandinavia, but uh... Nordic. The Nordic. Oh, the Nordic that's, countries. That's, yeah. That's the word for it, but. What, how what isn't it like two? How many people live in Finland? Uh, it's more than Norway, I think. Why no do, why shot. Wait, that? there's more people in Finland than Norway? I, no way. I think so. I think. Yeah, I think so. Oh, no, it's about the same. Yeah, we're about the same. Oh. Yeah. So why would you not include Finland? Well, they're not. Well, it's not a Nordic it's, country. It's, no, no, it's, it's Scandin Scandinavia. It's Scandinavian. Like, yeah, that's like, that a, that's like a peninsula or whatever. Scandinavia is like a, the peninsula or some shit like that. Oh, okay. So, so the so, northern part of Finland is part of Scandinavia. I, I view, maybe the, maybe this is wrong, but I view like um, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, Finland. I view you guys all as like kind of the same, I don't want to say the same people because obviously not the case, but like I group you guys together pretty hard, I would say. Yeah. The, yeah, Finland, Finland, Finland is a bit different culture they are. as well. Yeah, they are, they are different. Really? They're closer to Russia than we are. So you like what? Wait, I thought also is it, can you? Isn't it a lot harder if you speak Swedish? Isn't it a lot harder to understand Finnish than Norwegian? You can't Finn, understand Finnish the word Finnish. Finnish. You it what? Should be a little different. Uh, Finnish is totally different. Okay, yeah. So the, the languages are, are very different. Yeah. The only yeah. country that shares the language with Finland in uh, in Europe is H Hungary, which is far, far away. They have like the same language group. It's like uh, from the Mongolians or some shit like that. It's a completely different language. So can you? How do you think? You think you're? Is uh, Norway already? Oh God, I don't even know this. Is Norway already in NATO? Yes. Yeah, what it is. Think, what do you think? From day one. 
Oh, because I isn't so it's was it Finland and Sweden who aren't, or is it Finland yes. that's not? Finland, Finland, Finland and Sweden Finland are not in the EU. Finland and Sweden are not. Okay. Today then, today then on this parade, they were marching against NATO as well. This really, yeah, because they're idiots. lefties, of course. Yeah, they're dumb fucking lefties. The old listen here, United States. If you're from the United States, thank you for protecting us. I'm just saying it. Don't listen to this idiot communist parties of Norway. They're dumb as fuck, and uh, we want you to, to protect us. <laughs> I'm saying it. Well, you have to, like Trump says, you have to make sure you keep kicking in, all right? This is not a free ride. We expect those tax we, money going in there. We can, use two percent, we can do 2% of GDP easy. <laughs> all right, listen, we need that money in here, all right? You've been falling behind, okay? Just like Trump uh, no, said, no. you know, you gotta we, catch up. We'll use. Yeah, I know, well, that, I know. That's the problem, though, Dan. It's that what, what, what would it look like if Trump was in charge right now? Um, well, you know, you can't know. You know, he'd obviously you he would have brought yeah, you can't he would have brought peace to this situation by now for sure. hundred <laughs> percent. Haven't you heard? Putin wouldn't dare to attack if he was the leader. Yeah, He's probably He's weak, true. Biden. That's why he attacks. Old man, I'm gonna be totally honest. Biden. I could totally see it going either way. I could see like Russia invades Ukraine and then Trump literally sends like US troops to Ukraine like a fucking moron. Yeah. But I could also see like Russia invades Ukraine and Trump is like, well, I don't know. It's not our problem. You know, that's that's the, for that part of the world. I could see it going completely either way. I have no idea what he would do. Or yeah, it could completely. be exactly that like now as well. No, no, I don't think like now. Right yes. now has been a. I think right now the response has been more or less perfect. I, I feel, do you know what I feel about Trump? I feel like people take his twittering more serious than what he actually does no i i disagree that's like the thing that people like to say but trump was no, a, I don't he was awful he didn't get anything done he couldn't build political allies anywhere foreign relations were miserable the few things that he tried to do like new for foreign relations wise was like a master like fuck up like pulling out of the iran deal everything with north korea was a disaster like um Moving the fucking embassy to Jerusalem was like why? Like he, he it just he couldn't accomplish anything domestically or internationally. Like it was a huge shit show. Wasn't that just like an entire massive troll like on Palestinians basically? Like they, well, that? they kind of yeah, basically. It's just like they're the you only show reason they have a stronger claim to yeah. Jerusalem. Yeah, yeah, that was like the only reason to do it is like just like doing a little bit of trolling. Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, that was a good troll. He's entertaining as fuck. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I want that from the president. You don't, want to, yeah. you don't want it to be entertaining, though. That's like the worst. That is true. That is well, true. I think Ameri that... But American politics in general, in general is a fucking shit show. And, and you love it. Comedic show. <laughs> yeah. That so was sorry, a good. huge reason, I think, that people were done with fucking Trump uh, at the end of the last election. Like, no one gave a shit about Biden. Or, like, no one loved Biden. It's just everyone wanted to stop talking about politics every fucking day. And that was the big but thing. But it isn't wanna... everyone when it was almost 50-50. Well, everyone yeah. is a strong statement. It's half, a bit I think more even, than half. I think most people were tired of politics. And it was, it was all No, I, I, I don't think so. I think that it was, it was pretty evenly divided. You got to keep in mind that Biden got the most votes of any president in US history. And Trump got the second most. So like, it's, yes. yeah, it was, it was a it's pretty divided. It's pretty divided. About as divided as probably it ever has been historically in the United States. So the question is really what's... Um, no one knows. What we're in for in 2024. Yeah, everybody's waiting to see if Trump runs again or what the Democrats are going to do or what the fuck. It's all, it seems like... So here's like interesting political strategy. If the Republicans put up, it seems like the Republicans have to put up Trump. But like if Trump wins, then they have no incumbent advantage, right? Because Trump can't run again. So he'll be a one-term president, kind of. It'll because his second term, right? Um, well, he well, can admit, try to say the first one doesn't count. Yep. No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's totally not like Trump. That's totally not like Trump. You, uh, you guys, you, I will just say you guys have the opposite problems of what we got there because for, for you it's like the country is divided almost 50 50 and it, it's almost like you hate each other or not you but they the political parties here the problem is that we have too many bullshit one case small parties that gets maybe like five percent votes and since there's so many political part parties they can actually uh, decide bigger cases because yeah, you have the bigger parties 
which are reasonable part political parties on both sides. And then they need like we need those five percent extra to to uh, to uh, get enough um, votes in the parliament. And it's like this bullshit. And and then they have to uh, the bigger parties have to give the smaller ones like their um, their one case. So they should be happy to stand on their side and vote for the same as them. It's fucking bullshit. Wait. So what happens is the political system goes in like every direction. When um, suddenly I need the Christian party on the oh, on your oh side. you're talking uh, about appealing you're talking about coalition governments right yeah right. coalitions yes yeah. yes we always have coalition governments i always um i like there are so many especially left-leaning but it's really it's everybody but i get really irritated when there are stupid fucking americans that um because of how our we have a two-party system and our senate is divided 50 50 and americans especially left-leaning americans were always complaining like it's bullshit that one or two senators have so much power this is why we need multiple parties we need more than two parties this is bullshit but then i've seen in, in i guess it's kind of what you're describing in countries that have coalition governments in order to form a majority government you have this like really small party with like five seats in your parliament that has so much fucking power because the um, same here yeah because you've got one the, in order to form a majority a co uh, majority government you have to get those people onto your program and all of a sudden they have so much more power than they ever should because you have to appeal to them in order to form the government exactly yeah. what i'm saying yeah on, on on the left side on the norwegian politics you have a party called red which is like the stupidest fucking thing it would actually break the norwegian economy if they had power mm -hmm. and they now they're getting more gaining more popularity because you have those lazy uh, generation growing up that doesn't want to work. They will have less out work hours. They will have more payment for nothing. They want to tax the rich. And uh, mm -hmm. if you're rich in Norway, you make $120,000 a year, then you're considered rich and you need to get higher, higher taxes. We're not talking billionaires. We're talking people that barely are... They're not even uh, US dollar millionaires, almost. It's just ridiculous that they're uh, how it works. Do you so ever wonder? Do you ever wonder if maybe we can't do some things? Like maybe, maybe we maybe there isn't enough healthcare to go around. Maybe that's like an actual physical limit of like all the systems. No, that I mean healthcare in Norway is is very good, but it's also the complete garbage. Uh, like I, I I have a healthcare issue right now that I've been suffering with for like. Let, let me guess. Yeah, so let, wait, let so me guess. This is so you have to wait half a year to get in and just get checked out smaller things. Okay, I, I don't know the times I'm nervous. So Melina, Melina talks about this in Sweden, kind of what you said, Canute. So I, and maybe Melina's just super dumb and maybe that's just her. But Melina says that like the way that it works is like the healthcare is free, but you have to jump through so many stupid fucking hoops to like schedule anything. Fun. And if you miss anything, you get fucked and they throw you to the back of the line. So like, she'll talk about like, if you need to schedule certain appointments, sometimes you have to call in. There is no online scheduling. They'll put you on hold and you might be on hold for like 30, 40, 50 minutes, an hour. And then they'll ask if you're there. And then if you if you don't answer like quick enough, they like they hang up and there's like, this is like times a million in the whole system. And it can be really fucking frustrating sometimes to actually get anything scheduled. I don't know if that's like, is that, is that similar uh, to like the Norwegian uh, experience? Uh, not exactly. So it depends a bit on where, where you're from, I think. Mm -hmm. uh. Because uh, uh, a, a lot of uh, a lot of the hospital shit in Norway has been uh, centralized now. I, I don't know when that's happening because I'm, I'm not usually in the hospital shit. Mm -hmm. Maybe Knut knows better. But uh, we have there, there's like a website I can go to where I can look at all my medical history. I can see all the like references from doctors, etc., etc., etc. But uh, that's like the, the doctors can choose not to use that. For instance, for my since I live in a small place, I need to call for an appointment, and I have one, there's like there's like ten doctors there or whatever, or five doctors or something, mm -hmm. and uh, they have thousands of people on them each. So it's like to get an appointment, if I want an appointment right now and I don't want to call in and say it's an emergency, mm -hmm. it's going to take like two or three months, right? Yeah. And then uh, for, for the current issue, I've been high for six months. I, I, I've been super sick about it. I'm, I'm like, where it's going to be, it's going to be something big. It's, it's not going to be something big, right? But, mm -hmm. uh, and my doctor is like, well, I can't, like, either you have to go to private and pay for it yourself or um, you have to wait two months. Yeah. For like two, or, uh, or more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, more. I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, luck I'm lucky because, because my doctor can't like figure out what it is. Which means that uh, the you know they were like, hey, you only have to wait two months, but she said you could wait up to a year. Like, it's we, how serious it is. I remember we almost got fucked when I went to Sweden. We made this by one day. Like, we went to, um, you know where, um, 
Gothenburg or whatever. What the fuck is it called? Gothenburg? Yeah, the blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, we went there and then we had to get back that night to make her appointment the next morning. When I got in, we had like a month and a half when I moved, I moved to Sweden for like a month and a half to get her uh, physical done to make sure that she was okay for the US visa for the uh, marriage stuff. And there's, there's one hospital in all of Sweden that does these physicals. I didn't even think that was possible. There was literally only one physician that was approved to do it. And so we scheduled the appointment and it was like a month and a half wait. It, and we made it by one day. And I was like, what the fuck? Jesus. It's, it's, I, I mean, I, I don't live, uh, you know, I, th I think both Kut and I probably live close to hospitals that are decent mm -hmm. or you yeah. know, big hospitals. But yeah, if you live in the middle of nowhere, nowhere yeah, that's, you're probably pretty fucked if you need an appointment for anything. Yeah. It's probably literally take a, take a plane. Take a plane ride and uh, see how it goes. It's, uh, but that's understandable because they this yeah. uh, this guy probably has not even enough to do, even if it's one guy in the whole country. If they're just um, oh yeah for sure like, yeah, one thing. Yeah. But but, but the thing is, I, I was going to check out for sleep apnea, and my doctor sent in like the papers to the hospital. Then you have to. You don't have to call in to schedule. You get what, what you do. Your your doctor he says a paper uh, to the hospital says this guy needs to be checked out for whatever. Then you get a letter in the mail with an appointment or that you're put on a waiting list. Yeah. And what he said, they're like it's nine months expected waiting. Yeah. yeah. But, but the thing, I mean, the thing is, you can probably get that tested privately, but it's going to cost a lot of money because we have private healthcare in Norway too. But it's like, mm -hmm. it's yeah. very, very, very expensive. Not compared to the United States. No, no, sure. It's of, of really course. cheap but compared to the United States. It, 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 well, it, man, it's it's, it's, it's so hard to know what U.S. healthcare costs are because a lot of us have like varying levels of insurance, and like a lot of places, if you're paying cash, will cut you into discounts. So it's like it's very complicated to talk about okay. like how much anything in the U.S. costs because everything is so fucking varied. Like I I probably I think when I wanted to go get I usually get a full battery of STD tests done um, whenever I get tested, so like HIV, the blood draws, and everything, just so that I know. And I think that the hospital that I would go to, I think they charge like five or six hundred dollars for everything but if i told them i was playing ca paying cash i want to say they'd let me do it for like 120 or 130 and that's okay what, that like, sounds like similar to her yeah so it was like it was okay you know it wasn't like the worst thing in the world but because I've, I've been going to the to private to do like blood work see did some tests on uh, blood pressure ekg like the full health check mm -hmm. and i think i paid like 150 dollars yeah yeah, everything is it's just local. so complicated to figure out like what anything really is. <laughs> Jesus. I mean the the um, the I, I went to an emergency appointment like a, I, I, it was like a Saturday like super emergency shit and and that cost me basically nothing. It was like it was like two hundred dollars for a bunch of tests. Like I spent a whole day at the hospital basically. Mm -hmm. And I think that shit is pretty cheap compared. To, and I have no health insurance, just to be clear. Mm -hmm. But, but that that's. Is, uh... But that wasn't private, was it? I was no, 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 of course not. Yeah, I was yeah, talking no, about private now. Yeah. I was talking yeah, yeah. private. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the private price, they're not super bad, but they're like, um, you know, comparatively, like, if you're super worried about something, I would just take it privately. But the, the, the thing my doctor told me, which which maybe your doctor said as well, which which is really stupid, but it makes sense, is like, the, the, the people at the hospital will like evaluate your thing, and then they'll be like, if they don't think it's serious, then you're going to be put back, so then you can like be calm about it. They're, they're like, well, if, you know, if they don't think it's a serious thing, then it's going to take seven months. And, yes, you know, that's then, the then problem you, with the healthcare. Yeah, so you can be like, well, then you don't have to worry about it. It's like, well, I'm going to worry about it. I don't care if the doctor doesn't think it's But, but I'll, tell, I'll, I'll tell you a trick that I do every time I'm in waiting line. <laughs> oh, no. I call, tell I them call you like, my heart. <laughs> Go ahead. No, no, no. I oh, called geez. the hospital when I was going to do the, uh, the sleep apnea test. And I said, I can't wait nine months. Yeah, makes sense. I, I, the, the, I can't work because I'm tired all the yeah. time. I, they have to, then they have to pay me, pay me welfare money because the doctor has to write a note that I'm sick. So I, I need to get in. This is horrible. And then it was like, but can't you come in next Wednesday? Yep, yeah. Well, that's that's the truth. Nine the months skipped in line. Yeah, that's the truth of a lot of Norwegian shit. It shows you need to be. You need to be very persistent, and you need to be very, uh, like, you need to uh, say that shit is worse than this, right? You need to be, like, go in yes. there and be like, oh, I'm, I'm in pain, oh, I can't move. It's the same yeah. for uh, for um, uh, welfare. The same shit for welfare, exactly the same shit for welfare. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
just complain that there's more and they will throw some money at the problem <laughs> to solve it faster. Well, so the, the huge problem with people saying that a lot of, a lot of people are upset with how people get welfare. Like, so, oh, this person gets so much welfare compared to me. But it's literally just because they complain. They just yeah. show up and they complain and they just whine. And Norwegian people are really bad with that. If you ever travel to Norway and, and you want something done, the more you complain and whine, it, it, it has to do with the, the, the Antelo shit. It's like, if, if you complain and whine, people get like so uncomfortable about it that they just they just want want you to get gone mm -hmm. so just oh, yeah correct throw money that at is you. correct yeah, typical it's... norwegian because that's what i went and did too because i they were being so slow about all my shit so i just went to say like oh i'm in so much pain like i can't sleep uh, you know i'm feeling sick blah 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 and then suddenly everything became like way way more serious right how much because, you guys I pay mean, in ta sucks. taxes uh depends a bit i guess but I mean, I'm unemployed, so I don't pay anything in taxes. <laughs> he gets welfare. No, no. <laughs> no, I, That's I the best know. job you can have. <laughs> I don't get any welfare either. I don't get any welfare either. Uh, Nothing? Well, I could. I just don't, you know? Why? Look here, Dan. I'll show uh, you how, how the income tax works in Norway. It's a lot, it's a lot of work, okay? You, you should I'll, just I'll explain see. it to me. I don't want to <laughs> see. I want you to tell me. It, it is in Norwegian. No, in like, English. Like 20 to 30 percent or something. Like 30 percent is probably average, I would assume. Like around the, th the thing is, we have something called bracket tax. Yeah, we did the same. in 2006 and 2016. So the baseline. What is the baseline? No bracket. How much is two th two million kroner? Like it's like divided by ten, basically. So it's no, divided. Yeah, it, divided roughly by... divided by ten. Ten is easier. Yeah. So do I add all these together? Mm, no. You go for what is the baseline tax there? You go. So wait, the maximum tax you guys have is seventeen and a half percent. No. Oh, no. what? No, no. Are you drunk then? Well, that's why I'm asking. Can if you send them these all together? The, the, the average is probably like thirty percent. The average is probably thirty. That's what I paid around when I was working. So it looks like to me, like if you make over two hundred k, all of your income over two hundred k is over fifty percent tax. Sounds is that accurate? Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But do you guys have like a lot of deductions and shit? I have no do idea. Do you have like a baseline tax for the bottom? I don't uh, think they have shit as much like that because I think... I, in Norway, you don't actually do your taxes, do you? Uh, you check you. them and make sure that they're right, but yeah. yeah, you don't do anything. The government like calculates all that shit automatically, then they send you a thing and... Yeah, That's if how, you're a normal that, employee. Yeah, so if you're a normal employee, but what about if you're like a business owner? Then you have to send in the full... Um, uh, what's the word? All the I'm worksheets and everything it. filled out. Melina has to do this in uh, fucking Sweden. So, uh, can you write off expenses and shit like that off of your yes. income? Do they yeah, allow of that? Course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if it's like <laughs> in Norway, but like in Sweden, they're actually like really anal about checking everything. Like every single thing gets ends up getting checked or something. You have to give receipts for all their shit. Yeah. Or you could use like a, a print from uh, from your bank account. In some cases, if it's just some. Um, Smaller things. So, so let's say for me, Dan, as a Twitch streamer who streams all my life. Yeah. When, when I get, when go to Italy to rent a BMW M8 competition to stream that, it's a tax write-off. It's my company is paying it. Oh. Because Someone I said... streamed the whole trip and I made money. So you can you can basically write off whatever money is spent to make. A income for your company. So, uh, um, someone said, and I know some other countries do this, but I didn't know Norway. So, in Norway, you can look up how much anyone else pays in taxes. <laughs> yep, you can do it in yes. Sweden. It's fucking ridiculous. It's, it's, it's a it's a bit more difficult than Norway. Now, I think there's some you have to you have to you log look, in. Yeah, you have to like, give your information. So, so, if someone checks on my tax shit, I get to know basically. Like, I get to you know who game. checked it too. Yeah, yeah, this person. Yeah. But. I th I, I don't know. Can you still do it through companies? Can I get like a company to check a person for me? I think you can. Do I'm that. not sure. Yeah, how that much. used to be a problem. Uh, I mean, basically, I can be like, wait, Dan checked how much money I make. That's a bit weird. <laughs> but I'm not sure like... if you get. If there's too many people doing it, I'm not sure if you get the complete list because I was in there and it was like a bunch of names that I've never seen <laughs> that has checked my taxes. It, it costs money though, right? They have to pay money. No, 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 it's that. free. No, it's free. It, you oh. just do it to Skatte uh, oh, okay, It's free. That's weird. So, so, but you have to log in with your own personal uh, login. <laughs> just 
So and keep also, check how much you a make. bunch of fucking weirdos. Yeah, people in yes. uh, Sweden have done it to Molina where they'll like check her tax shit. Like, I don't think you're paying all your taxes. I'm going to report you to the Swedish tax authority. It's like, the fuck? The, the, the thing most people find weird, uh, most of my, my foreign friends find weird in Norway is that we also, you can also just search people up uh, online in like uh, telephone books online and find where I live and everything. Yeah, you like can standard. do that in Sweden yep. as well. Super yep, annoying. You have, to, you, have to, you have to sign off of that. So if someone knows my name, they can find me my, my, exactly where I live. Mm -hmm. Wait, you can't, you everything. can't just not update it? No, you can. Yeah. It's automatically you maintained removed. by the government. Yeah, yeah, you could just be removed, but but you are there. Or, like it's opt out, not opt in. But if let's say you own a house, then you can't be removed. Everyone can go in and check. Oh, interesting. What houses are bought? How much you paid for it? And who like is the owner of a house? But can't you have a corporation own a house? Yeah, you can have a corporation to own it. That is possible. Yeah. But people can probably find the name of your corporation and shit. So yeah. yes, you can go in. They can check uh, what corporation owns the place, then they can go in and check who owns this corporation. Uh, yeah, it's really easy. Huh. It's, a, it's a country of doxing, Dan. The do, it's, yeah. a, it's a wild west of doxing. Let's say doxing isn't a thing in Norway. Everything oh, yeah. is official information, yeah. basically. <laughs> doxing, doxing doesn't exist. That's not a thing here. Well, that's not... Through, right because if all i knew that you were was canute and then like one day i discover like oh you're not canute you're canute's canuterson you know then you're like then you're like oh oh that's doxing you right so no nah. because then i don't you're i've never heard about that i don't think we have any do we have much doxing laws that well in no, america there's no doxing laws either there's not it's not actually I mean, we have yeah, we have privacy laws, but I mean, the privacy laws no. wouldn't like I I, I, can't, I can't I don't think I can publish your like name somewhere, but um, I can look at it. I can no, look it up. You can look at it. Yeah. But by publish, I mean if I'm like a newspaper, I can't be like this is where this dude lives. No. You can't do that. No. But they do what it all if you the time. That? They do it all the time anyway. They're just try sneaking it in, like because in Norway there's so much small places. So let's some, say something has someone has done something that is criminal, like just some minor things that isn't any big. Maybe they get a fine, like the newspaper. They they tell everything about you, except your name. So it's yeah. like everyone will know who it is. <laughs> Wait, like what are they? But they have really said the name. Let's say you have smoked weed. It was this taxi driver in his thirties, male from uh, from Ytre Enebak. Uh, with gray hair and it was that height almost like it, obviously they're not saying height and they do like his, color, name, but... his name rhymed with minute <laughs> and he was a popular, a popular uh, twitch streamer i i, I got hit by car i got hit by a car when i was riding my bike and uh, they wrote like an article about it where they really made me seem like the bad guy in that scenario and uh, yeah it was, it was very clear it was me like everyone at work immediately knew it was very yes. awkward Exactly. Yeah. It, it, it was exactly. like it was like the, the perfect description. I mean, they had like a picture of my back and shit. It was it was really weird stuff. And, so and there's you know, actually one uh, more insane thing: the police in Norway has got in a lot of trouble lately, and one of the reasons is because they're on social media, Snapchat, and uh, they uh, like the traffic police, UP, Utrikningspolitiet in Norway. They have in some areas, they they have Snapchat accounts uh, where they post stories, and they're try they're competing against the older area on who can get the most followers. <laughs> so they have posted a lot of pictures of people that have been driving too fast, people that have been driving drunk or in uh, using other drugs. And one of the latest cases that was, like has been really bad is they. They were forcing a drug test on, on someone that was drugged, that had been driving. They, they go to a doctor. Obviously, this is <laughs> like this is illegal. If, if uh, they, they should have lost their jobs, that, that's the only reasonable thing. When the doctor was forcing a blood sample, he was holding two police officers. Were, oh, I think no. they were holding him or. Uh, he was just at least he was sitting there drugged out took a picture of him like of his face of everything posted it on social media oh work today right. I caught this guy uh, driving intoxicated <laughs> without his consent and the police officer used the uh, used um, excuse that 
was too drugged to get consent from the <laughs> from this guy. What the fuck? No. Uh, and um, no, and then they said like, uh, as a, we have something called um, why is it after forsk politi specialenheten? Like there's a group of the police that should um, investigate the police when they do something. And they acknowledged that what they have did, done was illegal. And, but they said since the police officer had asked a colleague if this was okay to post and the other colleague didn't know that this was illegal either, they see it as reasonable to not punish them for it. Jesus. <laughs> so it's, <laughs> I mean, so it sounds, sounds super reasonable, right? I mean, if no one yeah. They, they didn't know I've, what I've laws they had to follow. They didn't know what laws they had to follow as police officers. I mean, that's like the most basic law in Norway. Yeah, that's like the most basic law. Everyone knows that shit. You're not allowed to do that. That's like yeah, and, and this is the same. Let's say a doctor published uh, information about the patient. Th this is the same level. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And, is, and the uh, doctor had used the excuse. No, I didn't know that I couldn't publish this. What would have happened? He would have never been able to be a doctor in Norway again, at least. And probably got fined as well. I hadn't heard about this. That sounds really bad. I could post your link if you want to. No, I had this I try. Trust your word for it. Uh, yeah. I've had very limited contact with, with the police in Norway, so I don't know how they act in general. I, I, yeah, same, but I'm just. There has been a lot of stuff lately. A lot, lot on Twitter. I'm not sure. There's a, a law professor from Bergen. He is uh, like a torn <laughs> in the police back. He's always posting and writing about what they do. So it's fun following him and reading all the news articles they post. The thing is, a practice. The thing that surprised me, and I don't have normal this, I assume this is normal everywhere in Norway, but it's like, when, when I was in my accident with that car, I, I like, yeah. I, I, I crushed, I, I fucked that car up with my body, right, when it hit me. And uh, yeah. the police showed up and they said like, hey, if you, so, uh, do you, uh, are you willing to pay for the damages if, you, if you're found guilty? And then he said that if, if you accept that, then the police pay like 25% of the cost or some shit like that. Uh, never heard of. Yeah, I've, I've never heard of that before either, but he said that's completely normal. So I, I assume that's like a thing in Norway where if, if you if you're an accident and you acknowledge like if you know if, if you get found guilty you're gonna pay for the damages they they pay part of the damages for you probably like I reduce assume. the cost of like going through the court system and everything yeah that, yeah that's that's uh, that's why I assume they do that it's just I I was I, I thought it was gonna I, I thought it was starting to like, scam me or something I was like is this guy trying to like get me to admit the that sounds or that sounds weird to be honest it it makes sense Never. So, like, like what, it makes yeah, sense, it makes right? it, that makes sense, but I've never heard about that. I, yeah, but I mean, I, I've never been in an accident like that before, so it was, it, I, I was it was really sketchy, but apparently that's normal. So that's ah, crazy, some crazy stuff. I've never heard of anyone getting that deal. I, I listen. I've I've heard other people say that they've, they've heard about it, but yeah, I have no idea. That, that's why mm. I, I thought that guy was like trying to like get me to like to admit guilt or something. It was like, hey, <laughs> that's you. that's what I would have thought as well. Yeah, I was super paranoid. I was like, because I, 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 I didn't say yes. I was like, I was like, uh, I, maybe I don't know. <laughs> what do you say in that scenario? No, I, I would have said, uh, yeah, if I'm found guilty, well, <laughs> I'll see if you were willing to fire. <laughs> But I'm, then I would have asked her, okay, if I'm found guilty, which I'm not, then... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what I said. I was like, I, yeah. I just said no. I don't, know. I don't know, but in general, I think the police are okay. Most of them are, but I've heard some really bad cases as well. The difference is, in Norway, you probably won't get shot. <laughs> that's the big difference. But you never know, right? That's the problem. When when they were they were being pretty aggressive towards me, like trying to get me to admit guilt, and I was like, it was really weird. I, I just didn't know how to like. I, I, you never know, like, if they're on your side or not. Yeah, I heard a podcast from a Norwegian lawyer. I don't remember if it was Elden or who it was, but he said it doesn't matter if you're guilty, if you're not guilty, if you're a witness or whatever. If you're talking to them, like in a avhør, what is that again? Interrogation. Interrogation. You should always record yourself. That makes sense. You have to. You have to tell them 
I'm recording this as well, or whatever you want, you should always record. So you, also, not only them, have a copy of the recording. That's what he said. They can't even deny you. If you tell them, you're free to do it as well. I, so, mean, I, I would, based on my work experiences within the government, I would 100% do that. I would record yeah. everything. Like, But you have to tell them. Front. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm just telling you, I'm recording this as well. I think that's just good advice. Because you know, because there there are rules to what they are allowed to do or not when they're interrogating you. Like they can't lie to make you say something, for example. And that's a pretty standard way of interrogating people when they ask questions. Oh, now we're talking about a lot of bullshit. Yeah, you are. Dan, do you want to see the communist parade of Norway? Do you want me to show uh, you? Dan give the link communism. to give the link to Steve, and he can put it up on stream. No, Dan wants to see it. Send it to Dan. He really wants to watch. Oh, so when he says that, it's because he doesn't want to see it, and he's telling you that he thinks your video is stupid. He doesn't. He doesn't even want you to send it to him. That's fine. If you think so, that's fine. What, Dan? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Why would you not want the the video from Canute? He put a lot of hard wood. He made the video. What do you mean by that? It's just a stream. I was just standing there watching. They, they were. Uh, this is the first time I have had to ask them questions back because they, the, there was this part of the parade. They were uh, screaming about stop pumping up the oil in Norway. So I, and then they stopped right in front of me. And I had to ask them a question. I, screamed, I said out loud, so do you want us to buy it from Russia? Because that's what the rest of Europe is uh, doing right now. And they all stopped and it was all quiet suddenly for a, a minute. And then the one of them said, it doesn't say that on our poster. That's the fucking funniest thing I've seen. And the people around me started clapping. <laughs> Are you a big fan of Antifa, Can you? I don't fucking even know what Antifa is at this point, Dan, because someone is saying it's a group, a terrorist group, others are saying Antifa isn't anything but people against fascists, I don't know. Can you explain to me what it is so I can tell you what, <laughs> if I'm against it or not? Are you a big fan of people on Twitter that have roses and hammers and sickles in their handles? No. In general? I don't see them in my feed, so uh, probably not. Are, are you, do you like them? Um, well, I mean, we're talking about you right now, Knut. But I want to know what you think. Um, well, I mean, I'm still, I'm, I don't judge people on on the cover of the book. You know, I ju judge them on the, the contents of their <laughs> actions. On the cover of the book, mm. Dan? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, all right? Dan, you, you, you sound to me like I... I'm not sure, but you, you sound to me like you're pretty judgmental. Maybe <laughs> not. Uh... Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> like I'm, uh, I, I'm not saying you're saying anything bad about uh, people out on the internet, but I'm pretty sure when you and Destiny is alone. Uh... Oh, what's Dan saying? We're alone. What do you mean by that? In, in, private, in private. In private. Private. Oh, in private. <laughs> well, in private is you know sometimes. Knut, do you say things in private that you wouldn't say in public? Uh, although everyone says things they would say in that I wouldn't well, say in public. Everyone does that's that. Not <laughs> a lot of people say, "Oh no, no, no. Oh, I'm not, I'm let's, not. let's continue this listen, talk." So, listen, what down, listen down uh -huh. to, 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 uh -huh. to get uh, to answer your question pretty fast. I'm Norwegian. We don't use those American slurs in our vocabulary, so no. I'm not using N words uh, in private. If that's the question, was that your in question? Norway, Dan? Is that what you were is, asking? There Dan? is no racism. Uh, I didn't say that. Why did your mind go there right away, Knut? <laughs> I didn't think that. Like you first, about, but now uh... I'm kind of now I'm thinking that that you brought it up. <laughs> thinking what? What are you thinking? Well, Wait, Dan, are you saying it in your they... head right now, Dan? <laughs> oh God, oh, I thought. It in my head i can't because can you said that he thought he says it in private what? i can't believe it he didn't say that actually wait so what do you what do you say in private canoe 
Jesus. I uh, say, uh, what do I say in private that I don't say in public? I would talk about my, uh, let's say I had a medical condition. I would have talked about it in private and not in public. If it oh, was something okay. embarrassing, yeah. I could have done that. What about you, Dan? What, what do you say in private? Oh, I'm, in I'm, a, I'm, an open, I'm an open book. If I say it in... In private, uh, I'm, I've already said it in public. So you think know? That's the in, best. I, I, I think you said in private, you're, 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 you're let people share and stuff, right? Yeah. Well, so like, you know, sunlight is the best uh, antiseptic. Like, like Trump said, you know, that stops COVID. Yeah, the, the disinfectant. Yeah, that one too. What did I say? <laughs> antiseptic. Oh my <laughs> god. I actually worry that as I get older, that I'm uh, <laughs> something might be happening, and I don't know. I don't understand. <laughs> Because I feel like Alzheimer's I used to be, disease, <laughs> I, I really feel like I was very quick on my feet when I was in my younger days. And now I'm starting to worry a little bit because I don't see anyone else that supposedly is misspeaking as much as I am. But I also worry that it's a little bit of confirmation bias because everyone's looking for it. That I do anything, people are out there like, oh, 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 he's, he's, he said he and said it he. Or what? Just like if fucking the second I talk, I breathe in a direction that has a misspeak. People are fucking jumping all over my shit and it makes it hard to live. Okay. Dad, you realize you're like 36 or something, right? You're not 78. Yeah, but I, I think... Are you 36, Dan? I thought you was at least 10 years older than me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I've seen... <laughs> oh, no. Careful, Canute. Fuck you, Canute, all right? <laughs> Don't let me catch you at TwitchCon, all right, bro? That's all I'm going to say right there. Fucking talking shit like this. this is unreal. <laughs> no, but are you 36? I'm 38. Yeah. That's a bit older, not close, much. close enough, close enough. Close. Why, how old are you, Knut? I'm getting 36 uh, in May. Oh, so you're younger than me. Fucking great. And you thought that, that Dan was about like, he looks about like 46, 50, right? I don't look 46. I don't know why you guys do this fucking meme of all the people, well, the exception of fucking Canute, okay? I, I look the I most look handsome than... of what, Canute? I, I look older than I am. I have, uh, I'm 100% uh, clear to that. I look older than I am. I'm, but I've looked almost the same since I was 25. I don't age. Why is everyone quiet? Man, no, just I'm fucking reading chat and people nah, like upset, out there like saying, because... "No, because just fucking fuck all of you guys." All right. First off, I don't look old. You know, this is the thing I get. I have so many people telling me that I'm old and that I misspeak, and you know, <laughs> oh, it's fucking it's abuse and it's bullshit because I don't misspeak that much. Okay, but when I do, everyone's on on the it's lookout like for it. Yeah, it's like an average amount. It's like it is. It's an average amount. It's an average amount. Like because no one hears them talking all the time, right? No one hears them saying shit because they're fucking silent. They're the slight. <laughs> Dan, who cares about all these uh, losers looking young and uh, thinking that will get him anywhere? It just it hurts. We can be we can be boomers. It hurts, Canute. You? you know, and the yeah. thing that sucks is like they're gonna live longer than we do. I mean, unless the whole world gets nuked or something, then we have the last laugh because then we get the maximum amount of years. But other than that. Yeah. You know, it's fucked up. And you know what we do? We're here entertaining. Making no money. Are you getting paid for this, Canute, right now? No. No, me neither. Mm -hmm. But yet, here we are, being criticized and ridiculed. Like, uh... And they consume us as uh, entertainment. Yeah, it's fucked. Is what the whole thing is right here, you know? It is. It is. I think we need to be more shameless. We need to fool them into doing gambling, because they will... The gambling companies will pay us a lot. <laughs> All right, Canute. Canute, listen. Here's the deal. Okay, yeah. you're in Norway, so you can do the stake.com shit. How many viewers do you get? <sighs> on average, maybe 800. Okay. Depends on what I do, of course. We can together pump those numbers up. Okay, so if it was you yeah. and me, bigger, big numbers. Okay, gambling. Okay, but I want half. Okay, is what I'm going to say here, if we do it. Okay. 
I want can half. You in, and, can you bring in half the viewers? Though? Yeah, you got the oh, double sure. viewership if you want to. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I got half the viewers. I'll bring in more than. I mean, if you want to go off viewership, we can do it that way too. But I don't think you're gonna like those that split if we look at it. But that said, okay, we're talking about big numbers. I will negotiate the contract, obviously. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, uh, and uh, then we go from there. And then you know, it's just. It'll be it'll be me and you, and then we'll have like battles with train, you know, and that's that's the way we'll. Yes. Then, the the way we'll do then it. our numbers will go up, and we can get oh, yeah. even better deals. Big, big numbers, big numbers. Um, hmm. I mean, I like it. Have you? You got to go. You have to talk to train and get his contact. I know. Let him know what gave him the contract. Uh, gave him the contract. What? Uh, what is the exact uh, deal that he gets? What is the exact deal that he gets? No idea. No idea. No. I'll tell you what I want, Knut. But it's millions. So yeah, I want. I, I want. I want millions a month. Also, Knut. Yeah, mm. same. Okay. But uh, I've been honest uh, with my community. If I do some bullshit sponsorships that. Uh, Seems like I'm just uh, taking the sponsorship for money. Don't use your money on that bullshit. Don't just, just watch. Click some links if I tell you to, and don't spend your money. See, here's the thing I do worry about. Is uh, how do I put this? I know most gambling streamers will come on, and they'll like do their warnings and shit like that. But I feel like it's in my soul to be like a little bit edgy, and I think that's gonna get us in trouble. What I mean by that is I'm going to be like, hey, your life fucking sucks, okay? You know it sucks. We both know it sucks. You know, like yeah. I'm talking to a viewer right now. I'd say, that. Yeah. your life sucks. We both know it sucks. Fucking take a risk. You know what I mean? What's like a few hundred dollars gambling right now? Because it's either that or you go back to the same fucking bullshit you have right now. So either fucking take a chance. Maybe you can make a few million. Listen, most likely you're probably not going to do it. But you know what? It can't be any worse than it fucking is now, okay? Because right now you're fucking down bad. Look at you. You're pathetic. Damn. Okay. Um, like the, you, yeah, need know, you need to know one thing. When you say, it, say that with your American uh, accent, it sounds mm -hmm. horrible. Oh, you try saying you, you do it. Me do the speaking in okay. my ridiculous uh, Norwegian accent. It would just sound a bit kinder, nicer. <laughs> I, I can say whatever. I can get away with it way easier than you get with your with your American accent. Okay. Oh, <laughs> is that how it's gonna? We're gonna be. That's how, that's we're gonna be the anti. You know, like, Knut, this probably is not going to go over super well for us, right? It's going to be like, you know, the landlord and the racist together trying to get Twitch by <laughs> to lose their fucking money, you know? Like, that's where we're going to be. Which one is the landlord or which one is the racist, then? Yeah, I'm good. the landlord. Yeah, oh, oh, okay, I'm got, got just, you. Oh, we just yeah, that's talk. what you thought? That, that, have, that's what you thought. I just right. talked about <laughs> renting out my house. Uh, no, see, I'm, I'm, the canoe. I'm, I'm the landlord. You're the racist. <laughs> I'm, you're, I'm you're not, we just have to make sure. That we just have to make sure. We all do no, that. No, no, sorry. I'm, I'm the landlord, Canoe. You're the racist, okay? You got to, I don't know. I see how you got confused there, but like, listen, we're just getting back on the same page. <laughs> Maybe right, you're okay? both the racist. Well, you know, we'll alternate. We'll alternate, okay? We'll alternate. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> that is both. Can, can can you actually do that? Can you actually you, you so you can't do gamble sponsorship where you live that, but you can just have someone else do them for you and participate and get money. I don't see why not. Like Train has a bunch of fucking Americans on his stream, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, the hype man. Yeah, the hype man. What what's what's stopping you from just like just like hiring a dude to do your sponsorships for you then? Well, it's you know how do I put this? Like you actually. Um, well, you know what's stopping. It's like if, if fucking the dude doing everything is in the country where it's not allowed, you're going to be in trouble. No, that's what I mean. Like, like you, you just outsource. You give you give some random dude somewhere your channel. You have them stream your, your gamble streams. You're just on the stream talking, but it's not you streaming. Oh, yeah. That's going to go over well. That's, well, I need, I need someone doing? trustworthy. It's going to be written in your contract that, like, you have to, like... Stream an hour before starting the sponsorship that you have to be on the stream promoting the product. Like they're not gonna let you. Like a company won't pay you if you do shit like that, right? If you're that trying to, so if good. you're fucking yeah, around. It, and I, and like the money is gonna have to go to a, like a non-US bank account, and I need it to go to someone that I know. If they fuck around, I can beat the shit out of them. So there's like really no one better than Canute, because yeah. if he knows if he's stuck in step, if you step out of line, Canute, I'm gonna fuck you up, and you know that, and that's why we're in, we're fine. No, listen, like there's we no, can, we can, we can, yeah. we can uh, this is what we do. Okay, we fine. get a house in Canada. Uh huh. I can make a company in Canada, 
and, and, and sit there and do the streams. You can come and visit, we do it on my channel. I mean, there's a lot of money to be made there. Like, it's not an insig- if, Even if you can get it up to- I think if you could get a consistent 5,000 concurrent viewers doing gambling, I'm pretty sure you're talking about over 100 grand a month doing that. Yeah. But on on a, ironically, five five thousand viewers. I'm pretty sure that's about a hundred k profit. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, I would guess so. And that's not counting subs, anything else. Well, and all the, all yeah. the money make gambling because it's a guaranteed win. Well, it's, oh shit, oh, okay. Mr. Mooton can do it once he's in Canada. Yeah, to pay for his <laughs> cheap Toronto. <laughs> no, Toronto no, no, that's yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. It, it, it might, <laughs> it might even. But, but how much would you guess train gets? This is pure guessing because. How much would I, I think, guess the train? How many yeah. viewers does he have? Let's say thirty to forty thousand. Thirty thousand. I mean, I would say he probably gets. You know, if I see, see the problem is like trains like a really good salesman, so I don't know what's what. Um, and I, I asked. I think I talked to Devin about this, and he's like, "Oh no, it's him doing his online." But I, I don't know what's what. If I had to guess, I'd say he's probably making one to two million bucks a month. Yep. That's my guess. Yeah. Uh that might be correct, like after he has you spent money on gambling. But but I say that, I want to be clear with this, and I could be wrong. I, I could be wrong on this. And, and it could be more so as well. W when Train, I think when he like has a huge win, and he wins $15 million, yeah. I don't... God, I, he might be like, Dan, you're fucking wrong, don't you're talking... So Train, if you're watching this, uh, I don't know what I, I'm talking about. But my guess is that he doesn't get that $15 million. Because there's because otherwise typically the way that, that gambling million. sponsorships have worked in the past that I've been uh, involved in is anything you win you get to keep, um, but like if you're re but and then sometimes they'll give you a set amount to gamble with a day where they'll reload the account for you, but anything that you reload yourself that's your money generally, um, and if you're playing over an extended period of time you're probably not winning because it's gambling and that's not how gambling works. Sure, sure but I, I'm I'm saying this on the on the idea here like if true. Didn't Train win like fifteen million dollars? Sure, but like, million. if he, it's not like he's cashing that out, right? He he plays it back. So, okay, so that that's the thing that I don't understand. No matter it, what, at the end of the day, I think I find it hard to believe that someone can win fifteen million dollars and be like, oh, thank God! All right, let's uh, let's go do another million dollar spins. Like, I feel like you would be like, okay, I am now a man that is worth. Fifteen million dollars. No, but how much right do you think now? it gambled to get to that point? Like, and also fifteen million. Well, well, it doesn't matter. You're in positive fifteen million right now today. Uh, it's not like he's negative money. Like he doesn't owe money to a fucking mortgage company or something to get that. You know, where he has to give that fourteen million dollars back, right? Like, I don't. How can he be down money? Who's loaning him money to fucking? If gamble? he's reloading, if he's reloading with his own money, then that's what he's down. Yeah, but sure, but that means he has $14 million today. Walk away. Have yeah, but that's not a lot dollars. of money given for everything that he's done, right? He's probably gotten paid out, like. Yeah, maybe. From, from his sponsorship. Like, it's probably like in the mid, like, tens of millions, if I had to guess. Like 50, 60, 70, 80 million. It's just so, so if he's hard put to, in, So if he's put in yeah. that much and he's like, well, I'm up 15 million. He's not going to see it as being up 50 million. He's going to see it as being down like 35 million, depending on how much he's gambled. Well, Train, apparently someone's chat saying Train literally said he was worth 100 million. So if that's the case, I have no fucking idea. Then he's way bigger dick than anyone else I know. So anyway, oh, hold on, I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. But I, I would guess that, like, I don't think he's lying if he says he's worth 100 million. I think he exaggerates a little bit, but I bet he, I almost positive he's worth more than 10 million. Yeah, 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 but it, for everything he has done, he can be worth hundreds. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, hundred million is a lot of money. I know it's a lot of money. He's been doing the gambling streams for like two years now. That is true, though. Actually, yeah, he's been doing gambling yeah, streams for so fucking like, literally long. Literally, like, it's, it's plus a, it's he has made among money us, from, He has made money from uh, uh, from crypto as well. I think he said. Yeah, that's. These are the things that I don't know if I believe it as much. That's why I think he probably overestimates a little bit. But you know, I think he's 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 worth quite a bit. Yeah. It doesn't matter. We're just uh, making guesses here anyway. I have, like, I, I know Train really well, but I have no idea because I've never even asked. This is pure guessing. But they might also pay him more, and then he plays for that money. Isn't that possible as well? Yeah. What do you mean? That he gets us an amount, let's say ten million dollars for a month, and he has to play for the money as well. Oh, like like he has to. Well, usually if you use. if you have to pay, this I'm only going by my experience, so it might be different for everybody. But my understanding is that generally, if you have to if you have to play a certain amount, they're gonna um 
They're going to credit that to your account. I, I don't know. Because I, I know he, he puts in money from a, from a Bitcoin address when he's on stream. He's showing this uh, often. Mm -hmm. And he takes it out to a Bitcoin address. Sure. But I, I, I don't. Yeah, but they, they can sponsor him the, the, the coins and shit, right, too. Can't they? Yeah, yeah, they could do that. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. They just give him that money to gamble with. But it's prob he's probably getting money to gamble, and then he's gambling with his own money when he runs out of that. That's what I think is happening, yeah. Yeah. No clue. Come on. They, there's they, they, they different ways to, uh, as well. Wait, so why don't you... Why don't you do the gambling shit right now? Why would you not be doing that right now? I do it. Oh, you do? But it pay me shit, because I got the deal uh, a long time ago. Well, renegotiate. Get the... Talk to train Rexes, dude. Yeah, it's the same guy that got me the contract. Uh, got to train the contract. So why is your deal so bad? Well, probably because he has like 50 I, uh... times less viewers, right? Yeah, but he, that means, hypothetically, he could get 50 times less than trained. That's still a lot of money. I don't think it scales like that. No. Like, do you think I would get sponsorship deals for, like... Like, realistically, if I'm doing okay, I'm probably getting, like, six times less viewers than Hassan. Do you think he only gets six times more money than me for sponsor deals? I get way more. He probably gets, like, 10x or more times for sponsor deals, right? Like, if he does a sponsor thing, I would guess he gets something around 35, 30 to 40,000 dollars an hour. Somewhere in that area. Unreal. No, no, it's not unreal. Well, he, 40, he, 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 he didn't mean like it's not possible. He just meant that that's like crazy. Yeah. So much money. It's fucking stupid. Yeah. It is. Steve, can you just. You need to become a gambling streamer. Why? Because there's big money in it, and then you can, like, take us on fucking yacht tours and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, we can already go on yacht tours if you want. What do you mean? Yeah, but more <laughs> extravagant yacht tours. Okay. Like gambling yacht. You want, like, first yeah. class. Yeah, exactly, you know? But 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 let's be real here about being a Norwegian millionaire. Like, that, that's, that isn't that much. If you... Okay, you could have a million Norwegian, which is basically $100,000, if you sold your house and car. That isn't. You, no, yeah, you're I know not you're living mean, yeah. an exclusive uh, uh, life. If you if you sell your house, so you don't have a mortgage, and you sell your car, then you could have a million uh, or hundred thousand dollars on your account. Get it a, isn't get that a bike, much. dude. It's, yeah, that's a great idea. A bike. <laughs> that's almost as bad as doing public transport. Almost. I only bike because public transport is garbage, so you know. So. I would never use public transport except trains. Wait, and why? If I'm doing it for stream content. I fucking hate public transport. Public transport in Norway is, is uh, it's, garbage. It has some problems. Is it worse Wait. than Sweden's or? For for uh, so so this uh, this is a while ago, but for for the first twenty years of my life, we we had a problem with our trains where they were not really well suited for the winter weather. Basically, so so every winter would be like signal problems. Uh, you know, the trains would not show up for like several hours, a lot of shit like that. So, you know, Norway, the, the country where it's cold eight months of the year, they, they had problems with, like, the cold, basically. So, yeah, the, I think they fixed a lot of that shit, but yeah, there's a lot of problems with public transport. They've, they've made it uh, privatized now, I think, the trains at least. Or they, they're doing it, I think. I, I just need to respond to a guy in your chat, this <laughs> okay, I got, A it. guy asked me, has Knut never been poor? Listen. <laughs> When, there's a difference between being Norwegian poor and yeah. American poor. Norwegian poor means that you can't afford going on vaca like an expensive vacation every summer. You can't afford having uh, the newest iPhone every time it's on release. You can't afford buying a new Tesla. Then you're Norwegian poor. You have to really like, yeah. try to be poor in Norway. It's like... It Becoming yes. homeless in Norway, that's like an achievement. Like the, the, then you then you're too lazy to ask for help, let's just say that. Even then, like you you'll yeah. get help forced on you. Like if you're yes. homeless in Norway, you you've accomplished something greater than most people can. Very yeah, difficult. I work I worked at a mental hospital 
And one of the guys that were like this was like the where the worst cases came in. They they built a fucking place for him to live outside where it wasn't that many people, so he couldn't do much damage. He burned that down. They put him into new places. He just everything was torn apart, not even possible to live there. Gave him a new place. Yeah. It's almost impossible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <but> it's <laughs> You really have to try. Like they'll throw money at you. It uh, it's really really yeah. difficult. So, so it's, it's hard. Do you remember me from that hospital? <laughs> no, I don't. So, uh, homeless or poor Norwegian, poor American. It's different. I might have uh, exaggerated a, a little bit when I said they can't afford the Tesla, because there's people that can't afford Tesla and they're not they're, they're not poor. But you get the point. You have uh, all the basics you need. You you can't you, you just can't afford the extras. That's considered poor. Would for example. I can give you an example. At a lot of schools, when kids are like, oh, their parents can't afford, uh, so their kids can uh, join in and or go on a vacation in the summer, so they can't talk about it to their friends. We have to help them because they're so poor. Would that be a thing in America? They can't go to school because they're so poor? No, no, they can't uh, go to a, s a vacation in the summer, so so the kid might the kids might feel bad when they're when they can't talk about their summer vacation to the other kids. Oh, that's like maybe a middle class, lower middle class versus upper middle class thing. But if you're working class, you don't go on summer vacations. <laughs> that's not a thing you do. Exactly. Yeah. But then you're considered poor in Norway. Oh, gotcha. If you can't afford going on, the vac on a vacation to a different country in the summer, you're considered poor. That, that was just to explain the difference when they asked if I ever been poor. But the, the, you have to remember as well, Norway hasn't been a rich country all the time. It's really important that we're the new, uh, new rich. Because it isn't more than 30 years since we got the oil. When I Wait, was why kid. is that? Did they not find it or was it just too expensive to drill for it? Or what? They didn't, they didn't know it was oil. Yeah, we found it. We, we got we got it. We got the place from Britain or something. They like gave us gave us the. There just no. no well, there were no proven reserves. Nobody knew that there was oil in Norway until like no, thirty years ago. It's not in Norway. It's like. Yeah, but it wasn't it? Or... Uh, yeah, it's in the water under in the North Sea. Yeah. Oh well, damn. And, and there was a guy from Iraq, because they had oil. And he came over, and I don't remember the exact story, but in some way he used some equipment. He like. Here it's oil, and they started drilling. And that was in late 80s or early 90s, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere around there. So we were... Uh, I'm, I've grown up on a farm. And that was like lower middle class, I would say. Nothing special. No struggles at all, but no wealth. You can look at the housing market really easily. The uh, the house that um, my parents bought when I was like three, uh, which was in the the early nineties, right? That house was oh. worth forty thousand dollars at that point. That house is oh. worth like six hundred thousand dollars right now. Like, yeah. that's that's how the how much the wealth has increased in in about thirty years. Yeah, that's a good uh, explanation. <laughs> yeah, L literally worth more than at, uh, like ten times. Yeah. Poor in America is no vacation ever. I grew up that way. Yeah, I believe you. Probably worse than that as well. Vacation is probably the l last thing you're thinking about if you're American poor, isn't it? Yeah, you're not even close. That's the least. That's the. Oh no, we can't go on vacation. Also, to be fair, in Norway, you get vacation anyway. Like, you just might not be able to travel, but you have like five months of vacation yeah, per year, guaranteed. I, I meant by, by meant vacation, yeah, yeah. I meant traveling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
But you, you, you get it. You get the time off anyway, regardless of uh -oh. where, you, where you're where you working. You have you have five months every year, plus a bunch five of other... weeks. Five yeah, weeks. five weeks. Yeah, five months. <laughs> that would be a bit much. Hey, listen, if if you get the red party in, maybe. Well, maybe maybe they will. Oh, didn't even uh, really have vacation, and I'm upper middle in America, Knut. You no, mean, he's lying. If that guy's upper middle class, he's lying. His family owned 20 cars, or like they probably like own like seven lake houses, so they just never left the state. If you're upper middle class in America, you're going on vacations. He's lying. Or he just doesn't know what the income limits are, what people do with their money. Why don't you do what Arnold did and just become an actor? Oh, that's a good... That's a... <laughs> do you think it's uh, dude, Arnold is soon too old, so now it's my time to shine yeah, to yeah, get dude, over yeah, to America and live the dream? They're remaking Terminator. Go for it. I believe. Yes, it. the next Terminator. I have almost the same accent. Hasta I la vista. Just, uh, I can adjust okay. it a little bit. Get into the chopper. I can do it. <laughs> 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 it will be perfect. <laughs> can we have the canoe? Yeah, the I'll be back. In I'll be back. Yeah. In, in Knut uh, accent? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll be back. Yeah, it's not as good. It is a bit, yeah, bit more forceful. It's a bit more forceful. Oh, forced? Yeah. yeah. Um, Alright, then we have to just... I am Knut. Let us try. Uh, I'll be back. Was that better? Yeah, I guess. I didn't feel too threatened, you know? No, but that was because it was the Knut accent. I'm oh. telling you, that's too kind. Oh. You need to add a little bit Arnold with the... Uh, into it. And we can do that. Good. So we can, uh, maybe I can become governor of California as well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how likely that is, but you know, anything's possible, I suppose. If Arnold... If Arnold could do it, everyone can. There's a place in America called Norway, maybe we can become the governor of that place. <laughs> I've never heard about that. There's a city in California called Solfang that's supposed to look like, I think, Denmark or something? Maybe. Maybe it's Ooh. easier to uh, go to Texas and become governor somewhere, someplace there. California seems to be lost. Yeah. Knut, if you see this, please say Ob Obamna? Obamna? Why are they saying that? The most cringe shit in the fucking world <laughs> is that fucking saying. And the people who do it are the absolute fucking turbo virgins. Like, to a point of telling like... Me to, uh, telling me to say that? Yeah, like... Huh, he What's said the minimum that wage Obama? in Norway? Nah. <laughs> uh, it's just... I don't cringe. even get the point. Yeah, it's a bit weird, Dan. No, no, but why? Why? They don't know. Because don't they think know. it's funny. Listen, DGG, I like you uh, guys. I'm often sitting with you in chat, but now I don't know shit them. of what you're now oh, laughing okay. Yeah, you can never know. It's from this video, okay. <laughs> okay. Say Simon says. What video is it? Obama, it's just Trump, Trump in his speech. Oh. Wait, does Trump actually say Obama? Yeah, he does. <laughs> oh, okay. That makes sense where the meme comes from. Trump has the best uh, nicknames on uh, other politicians. No, Cro he's just a crooked fucking Hillary. idiot. Crooked Hillary. It is, it's so funny when he says that. He, he can be as stupid and crazy as he wants. It's hilarious. I would vote for him just for being uh, fun, the funniest guy. Oh boy. This is the problem. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. For no other reason. <sighs> That's enough. I agree. That's very best. Yeah. No. That, stop encouraging him. The more the funny you are, the better. The better to govern. Yeah. No, I haven't seen Listaug doing the same. Like, if, if you're against Listaug. Uh, they're a uh, Norwegian politician. Yeah, should probably not be as Christian uh, and uh, put as much religion into her politics. 
But she did a fucking good job a few years ago. And the old Norwegian, you know what I'm talking about. What period I'm talking about. That's why we don't have svenske tilstander in Norway as well. Let's see if there are any Norwegians in chat who understands what I'm saying. I have genuinely no idea, but I don't follow Norwegian politics, so... Well, that's good. It's 4 a.m. here. <laughs> the pace. I'm not sure if there's Norwegian saying it or if people are uh, memeing. It doesn't matter. So what did it, can I ask you what you voted for? Uh, uh, is it a secret? No, no, no you should do I it. Mean, Go ahead. It's not a. It's not a, it's not a secret. Uh, this I, is where I, the friendship ends. I, I I like to vote like Dan votes. Okay, what does that mean? Oh God. Dan, what, what, how, how, was, how did your voting go last time? Well, he didn't vote, is what he... He didn't vote. <laughs> you know. I didn't vote last time. I, I vote uh, for uh, Advisor Party uh, last time I voted, though. No, I, that, that's, that's not a bad political party at all, even though I didn't vote for them. I can agree in a lot of stuff they're saying. I mean, I, I, I did I did a political compass meme, and then that's what I don't know for those. Like, okay, it sounds good to me, dude. Do, do, you know, do you know what I ended up on the political compass? Where? I, I know the top... Uh, Authoritarian two. fascist? Jesus Christ. Fremskrittspartiet. Oh, that's... Høyre. Oh, nice. Was the top two. Like, they were almost the same. I mean, the, the problem with a lot of those... Th like, I, I, the... The political combat shit is really stupid because it's like, would you do this thing? It's like, yeah, sure, if we did it, like, no, cool. Yeah, way. I know. Yeah. Uh, like, I agree I'm, with I'm... you. Yeah, really stupid. The thing is, personally, I think all politicians are dog shit in Norway. There's no, no political party that I agree with 100%. But there's, uh,. Some that I agree less with, that is like far out on the left. When, when, on, on the right side, just listen, Americans, we don't have those far, far right political parties. Like FRP, which is seen as a right in Norway, would be mid left. With John Carpenter, so well, you're, you're, I mean, it's weird to talk sense. about like far left and right, but like. I know at yeah. least in Sweden, like you're not gonna. It's not like your far right party is like anti healthcare. It's probably they have more concerns mm -hmm. with like Muslims or like immigration or whatever, right? It's, yeah, it's what the, yes. Those well, are like so. way more hot button topics right now. Uh, it, it isn't only that, but it, it is more when it comes to taxes. Sure. And what should be privatized? What should? How much taxes you should pay? How? How much the government should uh, take care of you? It's more those things. Immigrants. Let's just be real. Arbeiderpartiet and FRP, they might word themselves different, but it is basically the same when it comes to immigration. It's just FRP has made more immigration politics a, a case that they're talking more about. But when they, but, but when it gets down to numbers, it is the same. It's just smaller variations. You have three big political parties in Norway. Arbeiderpartiet, Høyre, FRP, the big three. It's coming in some new as well. In most cases, they are the same. They're, they're base, they're, they're, all their basics are the same. They're just arguing, should we put more money into culture or, uh, or into roads, building more roads? Uh, how much money should we put there? FRP is not the big three. Yes, they are. They are the th top th top three. They're the third biggest party. It's number one, Arbeiderpartiet, number two, Høyre, number three, FRP. Then you have SP, that has, and this election was a good number four. So they have been, you could say, big four, though. But after that, it's just, you have to cut it in half to get to the next one. So if you're saying something else, you're bullshitting. And you're probably voting for Rött or S.
Destiny pushback. It wasn't for Destiny, it was for that one guy in chat. Is space bigger than the parliament though? No, it isn't. I'm pretty sure it isn't. Might have been because of SP got more votes than I've in 2021. Are you sure? No, you have to be kidding. Yes, they fucking did. They got 2% more. You are right, but it's the same. You got 26, 20, 13, and 11. He is correct. And then the next one is yeah, 7. If I'm doing these runs, since I beat the first boss, should I just try to get to that second area as soon as possible, or is it worth it to clear out uh, the first thing? Probably it's worth it for like boons and shit and buffs and stuff, huh? What is this game? Some roguelike. A bunch of people playing it. It's a good game. Okay, you'd like it. I don't know if you'd like it actually, but it is a good game. The, the only single player game I've enjoyed playing is Elden Ring. Yeah. Ever. Since Quake 2. I don't like single player games in general. Do you guys have a far, far, right, far right party like super anti? There might be some really small parties, but they're never mentioned because they're so small and they're not getting any vote. Mm -hmm. I'm not actually sure if we... Do you know? Well, we just had the Republican Party. Uh, no, no, I'm not talking about the Mr. Norwegian guy here. I mean, listen, we, we, we might have some different opinions on the political parties, okay? But, uh... No. Yeah, but tell me what do you think. I mean, I, I would I would probably say that FIP is... is I, I, I mean, listen, I don't know all their policies, but I'd probably, probably say based on Reputation Day. They were, I don't... I don't think called, I wouldn't call them American far right, but... They're probably as close to the American right as you would get in Norway, I would say. Uh, but they're not like Nazis, if that's what people are wondering. They're not. They, uh, they're, they, they want, they want a few less immigrants during crisis than our Biden <laughs> yeah. party. Yeah, that's basically the difference. And they want lower taxes, and they want more cars uh, and well, less um, uh, taxes for gas. I guess, I guess it depends on how you uh, interpret what they say. Uh, individuals are is always idiots, but that's uh, if you read the po party policies. Yeah, I'm sure, not talking but, about. Yeah. I'm not talking about what individual has stated. I'm talking about what they actually write in their political program. Yeah, sure, but then individual. I would say that FIP probably has mo a, a lot of those idiots. That's it. Yeah, but they have the same in the Arbeider party and uh, Høyre as well. You just don't see them as much because the media doesn't give it as much attention. M but maybe, you have the maybe. cases. Maybe. I like that I'm not too into uh, Norwegian politics, but uh, I mean, the I I've seen a lot from these people recently, and it hasn't been good stuff, I guess. What about the latest? You have heard about the ta the scandals in the Arbeiderpartiet uh, regarding taxes, for example? Not if it happened recently. I I have not recently to Norwegian politics recently. No tax evasion. Yeah, sure. Listen, I, I a, a lot of listen, dude. You can't say anything if you're not even following. Yeah, it. sure. Okay, I'll let you guys. It's been fun. I'll, I'll All right, we we can do Yardbird tomorrow. All right, just okay. uh, message me the name of the place so I'll know. What time? What time? I don't know. Hopefully, I don't stay awake till six, Dan. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. Okay. Well, just call me. Okay. Because I might be sleeping. Don't. But I'll, I'll assume around eleven thirty. Let's let's shoot for eleven. Okay. So this is like brunch. Yeah, eleven. There's okay. there's one clip I have to show you from a, a political debate in Norway. Have yeah. you seen Martin Skank at least, uh, Mister? Uh, and no. the line. I don't. I, I, I don't think I've got a link, but. <sighs> right. The new var the smart when he was at the school. You know, Knut, there's a very famous clip of you. Actually, yoinking. That's a great clip. That's, that's a, a great clip. That that's, a, a, that's a classic. 
It is. Look at that one, Destiny. That's from the Norwegian news. A famous Norwegian politician. What am I going to understand any of this or? Herp -a -derp -a -herp. You don't need to understand. You just have to watch. Okay. This is a classic that's been going for years. Remember, we're only 5 million people in Norway, and this has 450,000 views. It's a good one. <sighs> It's going to be funny. Explain that there is no joke. Discord. Not in chat. Average. It's organized like a drunk party in an Irish brewery, is what they said up there. Okay. Yeah. Can you, I have no fucking idea what the fuck no, I'm no, 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 it comes, it okay. comes, it comes now. It comes now. now. It's the okay. Fun. okay, it's coming, okay. Now it's in the end. <laughs> and it comes, and it comes, and it comes. He said, I'm just as prepared as a virgin that uh, is tenting in an oh army base. <laughs> Can you, this was the worst fucking thing I've ever been forced to watch ever. What is wrong with you? Wait! <laughs> was that it? Are we good? Didn't you see the punch? Yeah, he it's punched him. Hilarious. Okay, he punched him. It was funny. Okay. Yeah, in a political debate at school, one of the most famous politicians. Can you go to sleep? Okay. <laughs> no, fuck off. Okay. You should have heard what he said. Yeah, you should have heard what he said. Okay. I, I heard what he said. I love you. It's been fun. I'm leaving. Good night. Be careful. Uh, Bye. All right. Good night, Good night everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay, I love you guys. Be careful. Stay safe. Okay. Rip Rito, guys.